We're just good. <laughs> and welcome to Upcasters, where we play some D&D and try not to get banned, or stream edging as now it's called. Um, welcome back. Last week we had a bit of a dilemma with some people in surgery getting tonsils out, and then not liking getting their tonsils out and all that jazz. Um, Sorry. <laughs> but she, she survived the dilemma. Unfortunately. Wow. Oh, come on. <laughs> I was joking, obviously. Existence is pain. Um, no. Um, Excellent. So we're back here. A uh, little uh, PSA uh, for the Christmas period as well. There'll be a few days that we uh, won't be able to stream. We'll try, I think we'll be able to look at doing one every two to three weeks. Um, we've got some weddings and holidays and more weddings. So uh, very busy times, uh, but we'll try to keep streaming this delicious show as much as we can. Um Probably the last time we'll do this because if you're watching this far, you know you know our faces. But if we can get a quick uh, cast introduction before we get started, starting with Toby. Oh yes, hey, I'm Toby again. I'm the pirate paladin Jack Rackham, the uh, scourge of the seven seas or fourteen seas. How many seas are in D and D? We don't know, but we'll find out. <laughs> Next, didn't drop the ball that time, but it fell awkward. Let's go. <clears throat> Someone to pick it up. A plus. For your effort, uh, Jordy. Hello, I'm Jordy. I'm playing Tuk Tuk, the Circle of the Moon Druid, and I'm going to turn into some cool shit. Excellent. And Yay. Miss Dana. Hi, I'm Dana. I play Xanthia, the Swashbuckler Rogue, and we're about to find out how good we are at holding our breath. <laughs> and Bentley. What up? I'm Bentley. I swear to God, if I have to tell you this one more time, I'm going to steal your dog. I'm playing Tacitus <laughs> Kilgore, the Tiefling Ranger. Uh, next week, we're still doing it. Uh, and Mr. Joshua. Hey, I'm Josh. I'm playing the uh, Warforged Artificer Axel. Uh, it's going to be having fun trying not to die. <laughs> and last but not least, Tyler. With a grown in mo, look at that thick thing. Thanks, it looks good, eh? Yeah, kids. Awesome. <laughs> hey, guys. <laughs> hey, guys, I'm Tyler. I'm playing Lucius Battleborn, the Domain Cleric. Domain uh, Cleric, here yes. To... <laughs> here to heal the team, even though it hasn't helped yet. <clears throat> Excellent. And that's. Oh, and I am the DM Remy. Uh, just here to make sure that everyone goes through some emotional trauma while trying to slowly level their character up to a place where they can happily play the game. But that's an unreachable thing. So it's just trauma, trauma city. Uh, but to kick it off, um, <clears throat> the crew last time made their way across uh, Gundolin, uh, where they finally met with King Red Axe. Uh, they got a few quests handed in in terms of uh rescuing someone they didn't know that needed rescuing um kind of did the quest backwards but hey that's fine you know this is a speed run um and then made their way to a lighthouse uh to question some goblins um, by question they meant kill all of them and then capture just the one at the end uh to try to find some more information about the goings on of these mysterious sea devils that they need to uh, destroy and that's where we'll kick it off uh, combat has ended um, you have been able to capture one of them kind of the leader um, the crew what would you like to do first we're going to take out uh, do you have any rope or bindings or anything does she have any on me no. um I got right. Yeah, sweet. Sure. We're gonna just bind her hands. Aye, aye, Captain. Okay. Hit her up so she's like kind of on a button, then I'll get uh, Tassus to tie her hands while I just hold her in place. No worries. Can I get a dex check? Let's just see how good you tie 
tie the rope for her. Just a straight dex? Yeah. Okay. Add five to this for me if you could. That's an I can do it myself. I won't be so freaking lazy. Roll. I said roll. Jesus. There we go. Nineteen. Cool. Nineteen. Um, sorry, she's currently unconscious. She'll be unconscious for a little bit. Uh, is there anything you guys wanted to do? Why would you like to rouse her up now and get to said questioning? Do you want to maybe have a quick look around? Is there anything else to find out before we just wake her up? Yeah, that's it. what I was going to say. We should search the area first before we wake her up. Make sure it's, there's no one else here. I'll keep an eye on her. I'll just flip her over into her belly, then put my foot on the back of her neck and just hold her there. Okay. Uh, and I'll investigate the room, see if there's any other set of door there, I'm guessing. Uh, to the north... northwest? Yes. Uh, yeah, that is an, another door. Uh, I'll check up the traps before opening. Give me an investigation check, please. Investigation plus zero six. Doesn't seem trapped. Uh, I open the door. Alrighty. Uh, so as you open the door, uh, it reveals uh, a staircase uh, leading upwards uh, and only upwards. Uh, I upwards, I guess. Is that another door here as well? Uh, northeast. Uh, yeah, in the stairwell, there's another door that's on the northeast, and also, uh, you there is that main door directly to your right. Uh, however, that is heavily barricaded from the inside, and also, uh, as you saw last time, from the outside as well. <clears throat> yep. Uh, I think I'll just continue upwards then. Alrighty. Uh, so as you make your way upwards, uh. You go up just a single level uh, to the platform where you saw the goblins that were shooting arrows um, from above. Uh, it's a flat kind of roof area. Um, there is another level that goes up, and as you look up, you can see it is the top of the lighthouse. Okay. Uh Doesn't seem to be anything here, guys. Just stairs to the next levels. Uh, actually, can I go to the top level and just check that level where the lighthouse is? Yeah, definitely. Um, so you make your way all the way up to the top. Um, if that's where you're intending to go. Uh, you make your way all the way up to the top. <clears throat> when you reach the top, you see this green stone. Um, it is probably about four foot high, two foot wide, and it's kind of hovering in the air. Uh, and as you walk into the room, it is incredibly bright. So bright that you have to turn your eyes uh, kind of away. You can't really look at it as this light shines outwards. And as it shines outwards to the ocean, kind of um, uh, to the west, uh, you can see it kind of illuminates all these large rocks that are just just below the surface that uh, would very easily be missed by a ship. Uh, it kind of makes uh, this green field with these little black dots on the water that represent or can be seen as the, uh, the rocks in the water. Uh, from this height as well, looking down into the bay, uh, you can see a few wreckages and shipwrecks um, in the bottom of this area, all smashed up and at the bottom of the ocean. <clears throat> uh, yeah, that's fine. I'll walk back downstairs and let everyone know there's... It's a lighthouse, everyone. 
Arena. Ah, uh, yeah. Nah, nothing he goes. Maybe we should wake, wake up the goblin. Who wants to take charge on uh, asking the questions? Can't Before hear you we wake. Sorry, I'll speak a bit later. <laughs> Can I search her before we before we wake her up? Uh, yeah, definitely. Um, sorry, uh, give us an investigation check, please. Dirty 20. Uh, okay, cool. So, uh, on her, um, you find... Um, it's <clears throat> kind of like this, uh, it looks like a pebble. It's probably about the palm, fits on the palm of your hand. Uh, as you look at it, it's slow. You can kind of impose yourself and it looks like a map of where you currently are. You can see like a very crude shoreline, a very crude, um, lighthouse design. And then it's got like a dash dash line where it's then a ship uh, with kind of the symbol of waves over it. Um, looks like a, a map to some kind of sunken vessel. How close is it to where we are? <laughs> looking at the map and then looking at your environment, you can see this is not a map to scale. So you're not too sure. Uh, but if if it was to scale, you probably think maybe two, three hundred feet. North, south, east, west. Uh, to the northwest of like the lighthouse area. Uh, that's all she has on her. Oakley, Oakley. I take a step back. Jimmy, you're up. So she's like sitting on her like knees. And then I like be behind her, just like holding her hands back, just in case. Jesus. Okay. Done this before. Right, who, who wants to who wants to take charge? Questioning her. Trying to get answers for her again. Uh, we want to know I'd... where these apparent yes, that's right. sea devils or whatever they're called. That's right. That's right. Fish. Sorry. Fish. Sea name is Bart. Right. Can I hold my rapier to her neck as well? Like yeah. beside her, then? Alright, well, we got the bad guard sorted. How about Lucius, you be the good guard? Little yeah. good guard, bad guard. Standard routine. Standard. Alright. I'll just, like, reel it back a little bit and then just slap the shit out of her face and wake her up. Nice. Um,. Yeah, and with a swift slap, she like shakes and she's like uh, drowsy, heavily bruised, bleed, a little bit of blood on her face, but she is, she's awake. Uh, as she awakens, I will cast Stone of Truth on her. Ooh, nice. That's she a... needs to make a save of, I remembered it, now I've forgotten because I'm an idiot. Charisma. Charisma save, okay. Be all. We all have to do one to throw in the... Uh, everyone in 10 feet, so probably everyone. <laughs> <laughs> the group is safe. Oh, sorry. 15 feet. Uh, no. She, uh, she failed the save. And I'm pretty sure you know that as well. Cool. Yeah, I know who saves and who doesn't. I failed. <laughs> I failed too. Yeah, I failed. 16. <laughs> uh, save. Uh, you have to be yeah. 14, so... Tastatus is fine. Yes. Uh, I can lie as much as I want. And that's zero. Nice. Oof. Zero. <laughs> <clears throat> you can know all my secrets. You can know everyone's secrets, actually. Yeah. Um, yeah, so you know she has failed. She kind of looks up and she's like, just kill me. 
Uh, we were actually hoping you could give us directions to the sea demon that's nearby. If I do that, my head will explode. Good, tell us where it is. She like spits on the ground. How about no? I'll like, I'll get her wrist and do that like bend thing, is like bend it up and just like keep going with it. She's like, ah, ah, ah. Uh, give me a, give me nice. an intimidation check, please. Can I help with the knife through her throat? Okay. Uh, so that was his helping? Yep, helping. Or unless you want me to roll my own. Ah, uh, no, no dirty, a... dirty 20. She's like, there's a, there's a rock in my pocket. Just, just use that. And I'll like, have the, have the rock in my hand and I'll toss it up. See, what do you need me for then? Actually, a great question. What do we need it for? And I'll pull my pistol out and put it in the back of her head and just cock it. Uh, no, we can just let her go. She's fine. She's given us uh, all. We... Is there yeah. any more of you? She could. Is there? No. Uh, no, we're all here. Uh, at least as you know, she's lying. Was it a deliberate lie? I'm pretty sure they can't deliberately lie in the zone of truth. I thought you just know if they lie. A creature can't speak a deliberate lie while in a radius. While in the radius. There's no more. I just know if it succeeds or fails. Uh, there's no more of us here. Do you have more anywhere else? More what? Is there more of your people? On the island? Anywhere else? Yes. Where? You know, here and there. Yeah, around and about. I'm gonna do more, just twist a little bit more with the wrist. <laughs> Don't be a smart badass. There's just women and children there, they don't mean any harm. How many is there? She's like trying to lie. About 50. How many are with the sea demon? None. We can't survive underwater. How many sea demons have you seen around, interact with? Only the one. How often does the sea demon come out of the water to quote unquote take people? Every now and then, and then she locks up. Instantly. Her eyes go wider and she begins to float in the air in this deep, menacing voice, just screams from her lungs your world is mine I will consume I will control who are you your doom and then her body twists and snaps as blood begins to pour out of her eyes and nose she falls to the ground should have asked for its name fuck that I thought she was just being dramatic <laughs> that, then that, just to be clear, that was like one of us, was it? That was like something else. <laughs> Who was it? Just had a curiosity. Not real good. All right, cool. <clears throat> I didn't go it. I shoot arrows. <laughs> if you can do like the, do like the sparkly field of the. Oh, that's new. I, I don't know how to control that. 
definitely didn't do that. Sweet, lighter topic. All right, cool. Um, so what what does that rock do? She said that led us to somewhere. First of all, where? What the fuck was that? What did that voice? DM. Did that voice sound like big brain familiar, or was that some yeah. entirely different? Yeah. Not big brain. Big brain ah. familiar. Sweet. Good. Yeah. Nice. Good. To Good. Hear. Good. The answer would be no, but that's fine. Is there any markings on her body? Or like, does she have robes that have any markings? Or um, okay. So as you pull like her, her like tunic oh. back, um, she's wearing like, like a you know oh. boob tube. Come on now, um, you do see there is markings on her on her body. Uh, they look more like scars, like self-inflicted scars. Um, in a shape? In a shape of... Like S thing that everyone did in high school? <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, I'm just, I'm just rolling down to the description. It's in there. And these like all over her body or just in one kind of area? Just in one part on her chest. Um, it is the shape of a... It looks like a... Some kind of... Like, almost like barred lines that go around this singular eye. So it almost looks like a, an eye that is slightly caged so you've got the eye there's like these bars that go like this and then across does I mean does that look familiar to anyone does that look uh, some sort of you know God's bothering thing it's just if you run up your rally no does Lucius know anything about Eyed, uh, eyes in cages. It would be an arcana check, this one. I would delve into my memory, but I don't think so with a 10. You... you have no idea. Doesn't ring any of my bells. Doesn't ring any of the bells. Would he be the only one that would have any idea? Would I have seen him in any other pirates or anything? No, no. This is, this is, yeah, something else. Well, I'll cover a backup. Uh, I'm just going to sketch down like a rough drawing of my like notebook as well. To get like a representation of And then I'm going to start lugging bodies outside so we can chuck them overboard. Nice. Just into the ocean? Yeah. <laughs> Better, uh, like, I'll do a quick pat down of them as well. Make sure they don't have anything on them. Okay. Uh, roll me 2d10. <laughs> 2D oh, as soon as she's, like, done searching them, I'll just over the shoulder and just start <laughs> off the side of the hill. Four and four. <laughs> uh, so you find... Four copper pieces and eight silver pieces. I pocketed them and keep throwing them over. Nice. <laughs> hey Axel, if you had a look at this little stone thing, can you make any voodoo wizard magic with it? Uh, I haven't had a look. I can have a look uh, now. Um, and then could I, while they're piffing bodies off the side, could I sit down with this stone and um, ritual cast identify on it? Okay, not a problem. Uh, so you sit down, you get some gizmos out and you start to inspect it and scan over it. Um, and after the 10 minutes, it's just a rock. 
Is there any like symbol or ru like runes or any like markings on it or anything? No, it just looks like a palm, like a little rock map. Adorable. Is it like translucent or anything, or is it just like a solid? No, just, just a stone. Solid stone. Very smooth, like it's been polished down or um, grinded down. Uh, but yeah, it's just a, it's just a stone map. Stone map. What if you put it in the water? You might like when it gets wet. There could be something underneath that is. It's true. Up. Maybe it's like a, a key. Maybe it fits into something to open. Yeah. Yeah. Know. So there was nothing distinctive on it, like, at all, to depict where they might be. There was the map of where they are, and then like a dash dash line that led to like a ship symbol with waves over the top of it. What do you mean a dash dash line? What is that? Like a... Yeah. Dash, oh, okay. dash, dash, dash. Like a pathway. I'm gonna head back. Yeah. Okay. Head okay. Down okay. To, uh, I'm gonna head up to the lighthouse where Lucius was before. And just because you said he saw shipwrecks around him. When he's more the rocks, but yeah, some shipwrecks that were closer, more of a direct angle down, but yeah. Can I see any that match the same kind of, like sticking out of the water, the same kind of shape as they were on the rock? Uh, yeah, look. There's a few, um, but as you scan outwards to the northwest, uh, you can see just one, one ship. It's quite large. Um, it's quite deep in the water, but you can see its mast just barely. Sometimes when the waves come go out, you can see the mast of it in roughly the direction it would be on the map. And it's quite. How far, like? Sorry, you. Yeah. Uh, it's probably about two to three hundred feet out out into this area. Like okay, so like shore. 203 and to the out. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah. Um, all right. Sweet. I'll like, yeah, take mental note of it and I'll... Just although we could probably... It would be quicker to like, to go straight from here, like across the water. We have to go like, back to the beach and across and then go out again. Uh, as you look, there's no, there's no beach along here. It's just sheer cliff face. Um, so where you were looking at these life, lighthouse cliffs were probably about 50 feet above the lighthouse, um, almost in line with the top of it. You had to like go down a little bit across the, um, the cliff face and then come across this natural bridge. Uh, as you look down north and south, this is just all cliff, cliff face. Um, so the only real way is to go either maybe back to town, get a boat, or just go over the edge. Um, sweet, yeah, I'll head back down. Um, yeah, I think I... Maybe I found the ship. It's roughly the same direction. That north kind of west kind of area it looks pretty similar to the ship that's uh, on this little rock here, and it's like the only kind of one in its area. It's about 200 feet off the the shore. At least see a way to get there, though. It's kind of a sheer drop down there, so we could just use that scroll of water breathing and just go for it or we could try and maybe find a boat and see if we can find another way out would that um scroll of water breathing get us all yes leave some yeah sorry yeah it's 10 people okay yep cool. also did you want to hang on to this uh rock jack i'm not sure what it is i think it might be we'll have a look at it once it hits the water Tuk Tuk had a good idea, maybe it might change once they hit the water, or maybe it's a key of some kind. I think it's, yeah, if we just hang it, it should be, yeah, it's useless, it's useless later on, but better to have it, not need it, than need, need it, not have it. Yeah, okay. Alright, what do you guys reckon? Do you reckon we should take the spell scroll and have fun swimming, or find a boat? How's, ev <clears throat> How's everyone looking? Do we want to maybe take a rest first, or? Okay. And, um, Bit, a bit of a punch, I'm alright, but fuck yeah. oh, jaw still tender. He copped a good one. Ah, oh, she fists of fury. Do you wanna yeah. sit down for a bit? Oh, no. Right, been a couple of scraps before. Well, I'm alright. Okay. Unless you guys wanna sit down for a bit. We can sit down for a bit and maybe sort out a plan and then head on. Or... Yeah, how long have yeah. we been, like, talking here for, like, cup, like, ten? 20 minutes like in, could this be part of a short rest or no nah, no nah, you guys have been walking around doing stuff 
interrogating, casting spells. Uh, it's probably been about 15, 20 minutes or so since the combat ended. Probably not even that. Probably only around 15 minutes. You know, some people went upstairs, came down, had the conversation, cast a spell. So um, hasn't been that long at all. Yeah. Raise your hand if you need a rest. I would only want to take that time to um, make some modifications to my armor. Yeah, I'd only want to take it just because then I'd get my other wild shape back and then in a pinch I'd be able to turn into some, like a dolphin or something and help us out. Alright, well, well yeah, we'll sort it down for an hour and then we'll uh, maybe suss out more of a plan if we want to try and swim it or take a boat and then we'll get going once we figured it out what time of day is it uh it is approximately just after um, noon because you guys took a little bit to get out here yeah we probably don't want to be in the water at night because uh fuck that but i mean we could like utilize it but then we'd also have to be extra careful. Yeah, I, I can't see in the dark, and seeing underwater in the dark's probably worse. Exactly. Yeah, that's my point. I can um, yeah. give you dark vision, but only for a certain time. But Actually, that's a good idea. I can't see underwater, and torches don't eh, work too well yeah. with the wet. I'll just see how... Let me rack my brains for how long it will last. I can <clears throat> give you more of these... Um rocks maybe i could find some more rocks i could light up for you jack yes yeah, i mean yeah I've, i would like that but it's just like if i am the only source of glowing light under water it might be, be a, more of a yeah Absolutely i already yeah I already, I already have a massive target on my back apparently so i don't want to add oh. you know more to it i could think you're an angle efficient to run away from you that's what i was thinking yeah i can give you think that for eight hours Dearest. i mean i have a predator Eight hours, you can yeah, give me dark vision. Yes. <laughs> uh, also, uh, one of my... <laughs> also out, out, of, um, out of game, just remember your under underwater combat stuff as well. If you guys want to get that up and have a little look just before you go jumping in. Yeah, 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 yeah. There's my... Um... So no, I can, I can read that myself. All good. As no, as can we get to level there's... 7 so I can all that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There's enough sailors in the group or people that have experience in the water that fighting underwater is quite challenging. Is that in the naval combat guide? No, it should just be in the player's handbook. You've got oh. a little thing in the rules, just underwater combat, a little um, spiel of it. Basically everything sucks. Yeah. Yeah, underwhelming rules. When you make a melee weapon attack a creature that doesn't have a swimming speed, it's a disadvantage. My submariner feat only affects my breathing and swimming speed, I'm pretty sure, not my actual fighting. But if you do have a swimming speed, then you can can negate that that weapon stuff, yeah. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, you have to, yeah, yeah, if you have a swimming speed, it's just normal. Oh, is it? I'm f and then range sure. weapons are fucked. Uh, range yeah. it properly. Yeah, we'll have yes, resistance to fire damage though. <laughs> eh? Sure. Sure, a lot of things under the water use fire. Yeah. Yeah. So the main one is when making a melee weapon attack, a creature that doesn't have a swimming speed. Either natural or granted by magic has disadvantage on the attack roll, unless the weapon is a dagger, javelin, short sword, spear, or trident. A rage weapon attack automatically misses the target beyond uh, the weapon's normal range. Uh, even in, against a target within normal range, the attack roll has disadvantage unless the weapon is a crossbow, a net, a weapon that has a throne like javelin, spear, trident, or dart. <coughs> Have a lot of web. Let me borrow. Pretty heavy. 
Uh, in terms of what, like, what the goblins had as well, uh, you can definitely find um, some spears and short swords and some I'm gonna... really crude daggers as well. Yeah, I'm going to dagger if anyone wants it. Pick up, um... For some reason. Pick up two of those short swords just to have kind of... Chew this bit. <laughs> I don't know, Skimitar, if he wants to use it. A spare one, at least. Does that fall under the... That's Finesse and Light. Yeah, no, it needs to be those those ones in the show of swimming speed. I do have a swimming speed. That's that one? Oh, because you're Sam Mariner, that's right. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, so you're I'm fine. A cool guy. <laughs> Fuck all y'all. I'm just gonna pick protein. up just just oh sorry. Uh, I'm just gonna pick up a spear. Well, I'll use. Spear was on the list, wasn't it? Yep. Yep. Um, while we're doing our short rest, two I'm just gonna, but uh, I'll burn. Oh yeah, I'm gonna use me to die as well. So you guys are having uh, some more, some short rests. If you want to use hit die, I'll roll them up now. Yeah. Sure. <sighs> yeah. If we're short resting, I'll um. Head uh. Out in here and then just make some modifications to my armor let's take them off and make some modifications okay nice just turning it into a different suit of armor yeah i'll just um uh, make it so they're overlapping a bit more on my body to give it more protection and then just turn it into the guardian um, mode Hey DM, question. Yes. Uh, on our travels around, would I have seen a, a reef just for my wild shape shit? I seen a what, sorry? A reef shark, like a shark or something. Um, not, not, not from where you guys no. were walking. Not yet, no. Not even when we were on the boat and stuff. Nah. Dang it. They're so cool, though. We will see plenty in a second. <laughs> I'll just leave it there in case I see one. Then I got my dolphin. Just um, kind of just sort of stroll around the outside, just looking over the balcony and stuff. There's no like crap little wooden dinghies or little boats or rowboats or anything just floating around kind of the bottom of this lighthouse uh there's no bottom this is kind of like on a on a large rock that probably sits about 40 feet above the water line um it's just sheer cliff face no paths going down to the water um so no rowboat sorry if we were to jump in would it is there like a clear spot to jump or is it all like jagged rocks and shit from what you can see with the help of the lighthouse, you can see the spots that there are no large rocks. Uh, there's quite a few spots around the lighthouse that are open enough with enough area that if you did jump, you would just land into into the water. Hell yeah. I want to jump. I'm gonna jump. So we can it's swim really out. Cool. Yeah, we can swim out to the boat. We can kind of rest up on the boat, gather our kind of woods and stuff, and then scout it out. See if there's like a little entrance to wherever this sea demon, devil, whatever the fuck, is hiding. And then once you kind of 
got that sorted, we'll make sure ready to go and then head in. Yep. Uh, do you want that dark vision now too, Jack? Uh, we'll wait till we get to the boat. It lasts for eight hours. Uh, Remember? And it's about midday now, so sometime tonight it'll end. Yeah, sure, why not? I can cast it again, so. You now have 60 feet of dark vision for eight hours. Is that you, you go? I see all the time? Yeah. Yeah. It's so it's bright. Just wait till you're in the dark. Your eyes gonna be blown. Yeah, do this. Yeah. And then, like, just peek your little. Oh, finger that's way out. worse. That's way worse. Yeah. Ugh. I mean, you're a, welcome. I need, like, something that goes over my face, like, block. It's the sun, I feel like. Good. Uh, it's like a, yes. like a lens or, like, some glass I could wear over my face. Perfect, I reckon. Tinted glass. Sun, like, sun tinted blocking glass. glass. Sun, sun blocking, like, sun lenses would be a cool name for them. Sun lenses. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. There you go. Axel. Axel. Teed yeah. up. Sun lenses. Oh, no, you I can't. You wizard thing. Hey? How about how to be a wizard? To come with... <laughs> Two new ventures way with me. Oh, yeah, I'll try I'll try and make it later. Alright, everyone. Uh, when we go to jump in as well, don't, like, try and sink. Before you hit the water, arms out flat, you'll kind of slap and stop yourself from sinking deep. If you sink deeper, you'll hit some rocks a bit further down, so... Try and stay... Are you telling a really heavy Aeoloton not to sink? I was telling Tuk Tuk, yeah. but uh, it's kind of... Oh. Yeah, I don't, I, I'm actually very interested to see if actually Axel floats. I'm pretty sure he's going to anchor. <laughs> yeah, Axel, what do you, what happens yeah. to you in the water? Yeah, yeah do you float? It's going to be interesting. I, I sink. How are you going to get out? But you don't need to breathe, do you? So that's fine. Yeah, I guess I'll just climb out. That's a good question. Does anyone... Anyone not know how to swim? Or we? Is that bad time to learn? Lucius, yeah, <laughs> shocking time to learn. That, you don't know how to swim? Nah. Great, cool, come here. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna tie a rope around Lucius' waist and then around my waist. Yeah, oh, so really Anyone else? It is so far. Oh, I swear mm, to God. I'll just... just turn into something. I'll be fine. Oh, fair enough. I'll I'm not really designed I'll fly around for, for like five minutes yeah. and then. We'll be good. Just relax. This is just relax. I'll tell you just what to do. Just take a mouthful. That's what she said. Yes. <laughs> Mission of <laughs> that. <laughs> Alright, let's go find a spot we can jump in. Also, whoever jumps in first needs to have a quick look around just because splashing will definitely attract shit. So. Yeah. Me and Lucy's got it. Get yeah, around, buddy. Splashing. I'll be splashed. You have yeah. just got dark vision, so this is going to be... Panic attack. Yeah, that's right. it out. There's yeah. nothing better than sore eyes than salt water. Yeah. Yeah. Everyone's learning. Mm -hmm. right. Today ben. is just a life lesson. Um, who actually knows the water breathing spell? We have a spell scroll. It's we have uh, the king. Yeah, but I'm just wondering yeah. if any of, oh. any of the spell casters, is, is it on their list? Yeah. I haven't got that level yet. Nope. If it was, I don't think I have it. No. No. It is on mine. But it's on your list? Yeah. So you would know as a part of it, it does help you be able to breathe underwater and see underwater as well. So it kind of gives you the ability to, to operate in the water other than just the swim speed. That will still lag you down. But you can still see, you can slightly hear. Uh, it's a lot muffled. The range doesn't go as far, but it enables you to fully operate under the water. Would it like put like a bubble like around your head so you have to walk the uh, no. kind of water in your eyes? I don't believe it does. I believe it just you just magically can breathe water and can see in water. How long does it last for? This spell scroll? I think it's 24 hours or 8 hours. I can't remember. 24 hours. 24. It's a, it's a while. 24 hours. Yeah. Ages. Yeah, so you can't drown if you can breathe on the water. Fine. Perfect time to learn how to swim. Make a home. Cool. 
cook some fish. Cook fish underwater. Why do you cook fish underwater? Yeah. That's not the point. <laughs> Oil fish. <clears throat> yeah, I can heat it, so we'll just like yeah. heat it. Broil it. Someone yeah. that has heat metal will just heat metal up that. Axel, yeah. and then... Bend him over, put on his back. Like belly. <laughs> yeah. I've got heat metal, we got this. We'll be fine. Is there, is there a, a spot that's like very obviously clear we can jump in that rocks pretty close to us? Or uh, go somewhere else? As you go up to the top of the lighthouse, you can see... Oh, shit, not that high. <laughs> that is probably the only spot that can give you like enough jump angle to be able to clear the rocks that go into the water, like this, the side of the thing. Oh. So you know you're going to have to jump Hell out yeah. and then hopefully you don't fuck the jump and then, you know, skid down the side. Let's not, not do that. At least you get a height. Another idea no. is you could just uh, tie but... the rope and then climb down into the water. Yeah, my thought is how do we get back up once we're down? Uh, Are we going to climb the problem. cliff side? Yeah. Climb with a big, <laughs> massive fish head on us. When exactly. we're coming um, <clears throat> over the bridge, how high was that from the water? Uh, the bridge here? Uh, that's probably about 30 feet. 25 to 30 feet. Climbable? Uh, everything's climbable with the right, right, you know, attitude and roll. But it is... Very good, like... A tie off point up there, we can like kind of tie it off and then propel the line down. Yeah, definitely. Definitely up there. Definitely there. Definitely where right, the sorry. lighthouse is as well. So we are, I'll go down towards the bridge and start making some hectic sailing knot to tie the rope off to make a. Yeah, uh, yeah take my rope off. Dead corpse. Uh, easily done. Easily done. Alright, well, I'll head down first. Yeah, I'll check the water, and then when it's clear, Lucy, you come down next, and I'll teach you how to swim for a bit while the rest are making their way down. Uh, and are you casting oh. that sc scroll on you now? Yeah. <clears throat> Axel, hit us. Yeah. Yep. I'll uh, put my magic through the scroll and uh, cast it on him just before uh, Jack climbs down the rope. Okay, excellent. Uh, you guys feel this weird sensation in your throat and then like kind of travel down into your lungs and then you take a breath and you kind of feel your chest like get slightly like it feels like it's just fuller of air and it has it's this weird sensation uh, you can breathe normally up here and you just feel like you've got like this full hold in your in your lungs almost like you need a burp is it yeah almost yeah, like you need a burp <sighs> Trying to get it through. Oh. It's coming out. Oof, I don't like it. All right, let's go. <laughs> yeah, did it work? Do you guys feel any? <laughs> did it work? We got it. <laughs> <laughs> did it work? No, it didn't. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I feel the same. <laughs> Alrighty. Uh, as you guys hit the water, can I please get some athletics checks as you hit the water? Um... Tyler, can you please roll with disadvantage, please? Any chance I can do an acrobatics check? Ah, uh, no, this is straight athletics. This is... Fuck. I'm really good at acrobatics, though. Twelve. Twelve, yeah. Twelve. You're, you're fine. You can swim. Oh, you got twelve. Yeah. Oh. How'd you get twelve? You don't have... Do not have a plus ten to athletics. Oh, I'm an idiot. It's disadvantage. I'm an idiot. It's a four. Um, as you guys hit the water, um, Jack Rackham, you're swimming. You're like, oh, it's a bit rough and a bit wavy. Like, this sucks a bit. Uh, and you just see uh, Lucius just go, mm, like, in a quick, quick, yeah, just almost like an elevator going down. Just, boom, just. I was and... actually, I thought he was lying about not being able to swim, but I'll swim out between him, like, oh, fuck. Let's <laughs> go down. And... Um... <laughs> As you try to pull the rope, you all like go bink, and then you start to go down oh. a bit. Uh, and as you do, you can feel like this bubble in your, both of you, in your throat, just kind of like make its way out, and then it pops, and all these bubbles go out. 
and then you panic for the first time as this water goes into your throat and you're like ah and then you're fine you're just breathing normally uh, but it's a super weird sensation your body panics for a little bit uh, hey, we'll just come here <laughs> panicking so finally you're out just hold still just kick your legs kick your legs kick your legs I'm flailing arms and legs oh, just, and oh, fuck me. redirect them uh, in just, the, get, just go down come down in about 7 seconds or so 30 feet down boom you hit the bottom there's rocks, bits oh. of ships everywhere, and you're just like trying to pull him up, and then your feet touch the bottom, and you're like, <sighs> big <laughs> sigh. Did this is how you swim. Um, get to the bottom yeah. and start walking. Yeah, fuck swimming, right? And you just walk. Yeah, that's what we're doing. Ah. And we start walking. Water well, tastes like walking. shit. Yeah, it's very salty. <laughs> Who would have guessed? <laughs> <sighs> All right, what's They'll everyone else doing? <laughs> Can we see anything from the surface? Or we just yeah. see them go down? Just sink. Can you see him just sink? It's probably... Actually, give me a perception check. Let's see how well you can pierce the depths. Hell yeah. What's your question? Do we see anything at the bottom of the ocean? Yeah. <laughs> It's like you... a fucking school of sharks just here. Uh, no school of sharks. Uh -oh. You can definitely see some like uh, bits of old ship and stuff, uh, but you can only really see about sixty feet. Twenty-three around you before it just is kind of too dark, too murky. Uh, with the twenty-three, you can see them very slightly at the bottom, but you can see they're just standing there. Okay, yeah, I'll just relate to everyone and be like, well, they've currently seem to have sunk. I thought we were going to swim, but I guess we're sinking now. Um, so, who's next? Yeah, jump in. Belly flop. <clears throat> I'll follow. Yeah. Yep, yep. heading in. Does my submarine uh, feet give me advantage? No, you just get a swim speed, so you don't have to roll any checks. So you can just swim. Can I swan no. dive off? Oh, cool. I want to swan dive off and then halfway down, I'm going to turn into a dolphin. Okay, nice. Uh, give me a performance check. Let's see how how graceful Shit. you are at doing this. Shit. You sorry I can't perceive my way to looking good? <laughs> <laughs> not even a little bit. Yep. <laughs> Damn it. Uh, 16, that's not bad. That's minus. not bad. Uh, so yeah, you jump out. <laughs> Sort of like gracious, most elegant swan dive, but you kind of get the pose. Uh, and then as you about to hit the water, your you shape change, and poof, pierce into it, and you are a, a dolphin. Yes. Uh, what's everyone else doing? Just sink into the bottom. Can I try, Can I try yeah. and swim? <clears throat> yeah, yeah, if you like. Yeah, uh, give us a athletics check. With advantage, because I'm a pirate? Nah. It's just straight wrong. Because <laughs> I'm a pirate. Oh, natural one with a... Minus one. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> you hit the water. You hit the water, and you're like, yeah, Jack, what's he talking about? It's splitting your legs. And then you're like, kind of half paddling, and this just massive wave comes from nowhere. And you're like, oh, boy. And you just get whitewashed, turned around upside down, and then spun as you're slowly sinking to the bottom. Uh, everyone sees poor Xanthia just doing like these out of control roly polies all the way down. You just hear like dolphin laugh. <laughs> what does that sound like? I'm not doing it. <laughs> God. No. Negatory. <clears throat> but I'll go and um, collect her and then. Like, slide up to her so she can grab my fin and I'll swim her back to the group at the bottom. Yeah, I'll like. And just be like, calm down, breathe, and then off again, hold on. Now I'll that... finish my rolls with my ass on the sand and then when she comes up, I'll, I'll grab the fin. Nice. Very good, very good. And can I also just do a quick, once I drop her back, I want to do just a quick speedy swim round. I've got a, a 60 foot swim speed and I just want to check, make sure there's no sharks, nothing that's going to 
because we've made obviously a lot of noise splashing and shit and that attracts aquatic predators if that's possible yeah give us a perception check okay at 13 uh, you can't see any sharks you can't see any other predators um, you yeah you're in the clear no one's really noticed noticed it there is a lot of movement above the surface even from down here you can see the whitewash continually rolling and the just even down here the wave is kind of slightly moving a little bit um, yeah but no you haven't really attracted any other any other things okay cool are we able to talk under the water or is it just like <laughs> under the sea you can I'm it's extremely guessing. muffled but you can hear each other outside probably like maybe 20 feet away you it's very difficult to hear so it's definitely a close close range kind of kind of limitation yeah yeah well I'll just go if i have to to everyone and be like we're clear to go there's nothing around us and then i'm just going to keep an eye out and i also with a dolphin just for your si have to i can only hold my breath for 20 minutes so i have to keep going up as we go along. Okay. No worries. I'm going to um, just in fact, untie the rope because he can't drown, so don't mind you untie the rope on us. But I'm going to untie the rope and just pop back up to the surface real quick and then just get my bearings again and just locate the ship and then just kind of sink back down again and start moon hopping, kind of swim towards the, okay. cool. uh, the wreck. Uh, give us a survival check as you begin to make your way towards um, this shipwreck that they call home. You can hold on to a fin and I can swim me if you want. Uh, be you have to point me where to go. Be more or serious. That's what I mean. He's still like half upside down over there, so. Okay. Okay, I'll go and like bump him so he turns the right way, floats the right way up, and then I'll like underneath and get him to hold on and we'll go for a swim. Uh, it's a 17 survival check. 17. Well. Okay, uh, so you can, you successfully make your way towards this craft. Bobbing up and down, you begin to make your way there. Um, it takes a little bit of time. It's just a very dangerous kind of thing. You need to time your way to the top as the waves come crashing in, um, dodging in and out of massive rock features, uh, crawling over some, going through some seaweed. But you finally make your way towards, um, towards this ship. That is kind of nestled on the boat uh, on the bottom of the ocean. After swimming down for some time, the murky skeleton of the wreck begins to appear. The timber of the ship is rotted and covered in seaweed and cells fish, and large chunks of the galleon have been torn away by rocks. Clearly, it was once a magnificent seafaring vessel. Uh, its tall sides decorated with ornate. Uh, with ornate carvings and perhaps once uh, gilded with precious metals. Now, though, the ship looks like a carcass of a fish-eaten whale. Uh, as you get closer to the wreckage, uh, the water begins to chill your bones, like almost unnaturally, like you've entered a pocket of very cold water. Uh, you're still a little bit away, but in classic fashion, I will move you over to the glorious map. It's during a moment that Jack is struggling through some particularly difficult seaweed. I just kind of swim past him on my back. My hands like this gone. It's going to take a while, isn't it? Yeah, I'm just doing like fat laps around everyone too. Like, come on, hurry up, let's go. I some lead weights to you one day. Catch up. Fuck you. <laughs> I see you. Do we do we see that much? Yeah. 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 Oh way. The whole way. I see you. Thanks. Um, um, this wreck is like. Oh. Sorry, yeah. The wreck is kind of like facing that way. 
uh, and it's got the tall part there. You can see on the side of the ship the hole. Uh, and even as you're further back, because you're probably about still maybe 100 feet back, you can see some movement on the top with some figures slowly uh, swimming around. Is the like stern or some part of the ship like on the actual surface, like the ocean floor, or is it just like floating? Or no, no, yeah, it's on the ocean floor. So you can see the a massive hole okay. in the side of the ship that's kind of broken away and it's kind of scattered over the seabed uh, with a gaping hole in the side of the ship. Definitely three decks. So you got your top deck, middle deck, and then bottom cargo deck. I kind of like. Space plot over to uh, Tuk Tuk, like grab him by the fin and be like, "You want to get a little bit closer towards those figures around the top there and see what you can make it them to be? Don't get too close just in case, but just friendly yeah. swim by." Yeah. Uh, and from where you yeah, are, yeah, I'll go. You can read along the back. Uh, this is called the Golden Crown. Alrighty. Um, so uh, as you guys go off, can I please get a stealth check? Uh, Tuk Tuk and Jack, you can move your tokens further up the map. Just oh, to... I'm, I'm not going with her. I just like told her to go. Oh right, right, right. Yeah, okay. you guys. Yeah. Uh, Tuk Tuk, can yep, I get a on. stealth check, please? Uh, yes. Head. Uh, uh, stealthy, stealthy. I also have um, sixty feet of blindsight. If that helps, I just read it. On my little dolphin character sheet, if that um, helps me at all. Oh, plus one. I got a four. Nice. Um, okay. Uh, so move your. You can move your token up as much as you'd like. I'd like to. Well, well I'm not meant to go over there, Ortiz. I did like a really like wide just like just a dolphin just going for a swim just pretty wide but um so that i'm in enough range of that i can see like out of the side of my eye and then i just literally just do a big circle okay um yeah you can start moving your token just go directly up along that line um you're probably about 70 yeah. feet out kind of giving a wide berth yeah Oh boy. Uh, as you can begin to approach, you can see those figures on the deck. Um, some of the yep. ones you fought, and you can see that massive ballista uh, at the top of the deck as well. Uh, with your four... It, does it look... Uh, they have definitely oh. seen you, and they point you out, and they're like... Like, food. You are... A lovely fish. Uh, so that you can see you slowly swimming, and then they begin to very slowly turn the ballista like in your direction, very quietly, trying not to make any mo sudden movements or to get your attention. Do I see it? Yeah, like definitely. them. Yeah. Yeah. Um, can I, I see like... that? You guys are fur um, you guys are further back on the more of the bottom of the seabed. Mm. This is up on the deck, so it's a bit of a higher kind of angle so you can't really see what they're doing up there you can see some slight As, um, movement towards the south of the ship uh, but not where the blister is so as i see i'm slowly turning because i've gotten as much of a gate like a, a gauge of how many is on there i'm just gonna like if i'm 70 feet out i'll gradually like um hook turn i'll uh, fade out to like 80 90 feet and then do a big turn and then just go back but then go past the group and then come back behind them. If that makes sense. Okay. Um, all right. So just start to like veer off, and then like doo -doo 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 -doo, just like I'm swimming away, just the same speed, just da -da 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 -da. so it doesn't look like I've spotted them, so they don't think. Oh, okay. She's watching us. Uh, so they're gonna get a shot off uh, as you turn That's back fine. around uh, and come in. Um, so they have a. Does a 13 hit? My armor class is 13. Alrighty. So yes, it does. 
uh, it's 2d10 plus 3. Uh, ooh, that is big. Uh, so this oh. ballista just fires troop and it gets you right in the side uh, for 21 damage. I don't really see that. Yeah, you definitely... She's like on her way back where she is and you just see a dolphin just get boom, absolutely speared. Like... So as the dolphin gets yeah. speared. Oh, while while like, they're distracted, let's try to get them from from below. Turn back in the tuk tuk because I have eleven hit points. Oh. All right. Yeah, uh, we're gonna book it. As you guys are swimming up, as this is happening, I'd say you get to the top of the deck. Uh, we'll get we'll roll some initiative. Um, so move you guys up to probably. Uh, probably around here. I'd say that's where you get get up to along the side. So I'll, I'll have you all lined up along the side of the deck Was here. I about here. Yeah, you're where you are. That's fine. Uh, and we'll roll some initiative. Ew. Is it fair to say I'd probably get there first? Definitely. Yeah, definitely. Yep. Could I hang there for a second and just kind of check out how many are on top? Yeah, so you see that there is two towards the south, a very large one uh, that matches the description of said king, uh, and also two down the other end on the ballista. Well, when everyone arrives, I'll kind of do the quick... Let everyone know what's going on, <laughs> what the deal is. <laughs> oh, Everyone's fuck. taking their sweet ass time. Uh, uh, Doggy paddle. Really? Hard to swim, we gotta breathe in the water. Uh. It's actually just like full upper body, just gotta climb his way up the top of the side of the thing. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Probably. That's fucking hilarious. Technical difficulties, please hold. Question mark? Yeah, my um, <laughs> the actual computer is going really slow, so I just booted up the old laptop to try to see if I can get this to run a little bit smoother. Yeah, that's better. Alrighty. Um, some turn orders. I'll just go all of yous. Had to turn. Nice. Uh, you guys should be on the turn order now, if you'd like to add your initiative to that. That'd be great. Yeah, roll 20 is going very slow on the old computer for some reason. Roll 20, sort your shit out. Buy a new computer. <laughs> Spend that money. Add it to your collection of computers. That, uh, just out of curious, they got like debunked. You can't create water spell in someone's lungs. Hey, it doesn't work. Yeah, no. <laughs> Has to be an open container. Sucks. So rude. Um, <laughs> Alrighty. Axel, did you add yours in? Uh, no. Uh, 
Ooh. Like that. Big. Damn. Okay. Um, so, with Tuk Tuk getting speed, I'll just change to some Sorry. more combat music. That will bring us uh, to the big Baron man. Uh, he is going to uh, see you, Tuk Tuk. Um, is he there? You're the, on sure? you're the only one there. Uh, and he's going to swing him on over uh, and attempt to um, grapple you. As I'm further away from the boat. You are too. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Uh, so you're about 60 feet away. So he's going to come up to here. Um, yes. Go away. He's going to attempt to throw one of his tridents at you. Uh, disadvantage. Hayat. What? Oh, for fuck's sake. Jesus. Damn. Uh, for a chill. hit, as chill out. try to just go Relax. through the water um, for six just a elf. damage. God damn. Yes. Um, uh, and he screams out something in a language, uh, and all these other kind of uh, sea devils around him begin to move in your direction. Uh, that will bring us to Axel. I am the distraction. Uh, is it, do I move at, um... Yeah, you move at half speed, right? yeah. <clears throat> How high was it up this way, or could, do I have to get over here to try to climb up? No, I would say with with your guys reacting, uh, you probably made your way up half, so you're 15 feet up the side, kind of clambering along the water, along the side of the, of the boat. Uh, so you can go up further another 15 feet, it's 30 feet high. Uh, to get onto the deck if you wish. Okay, uh, yeah, I'll try uh, cl climb up the rest of it. Nice. Uh, just f to make things easy, uh, you, you climb up to here uh, to get onto the top deck there. And how does... Um, can I see that far? What's the like visibility like? Um, Sorry. You can only see 60 feet. Everything else is kind of quite murky around you. Um, so yeah, you, could, you can kind of see the shapes out to the end. It's not like a hard okay. limit. It just kind of, they become uh, lightly obscured past that 60 feet. Okay, I will, um... Uh, sh couldn't really see that one. Sorry, where it was. I will shoot, um... I'll bring up my shoulder torpedoes and shoot uh, three missiles at uh, the big guy over here. Try to get his attention. Nice. Roll it up. I'll, I'll shoot our uh, magic missiles. So it's... Uh, nine force damage. Very nice. Uh, as these little torpedoes come shooting at anybody and homing towards him, he kind of like splatters and looks and sees you. Um, and a little bit of worry look is on his face as he kind of can see the rest of you scrambling up the side of the boat. Is there anything else you'd like to do? Uh, I'll use my bonus action and activate uh, my defensive field just to give myself a little bit of temp HP. Nice. Uh, as you kind of like just uh, stamp your feet into the ground, into the ground, and this force bubble just kind of boom, and then like wraps around you tightly. This slight shimmer over your armor. Uh, will bring us to Xanthia. Oh no. Um. Would Eldritch Blast have disadvantage? No, no, it's a spell. So you're G. Good. Good, 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 good. Good, good, good. I'm gonna. How, how high up was it? 
Um, you guys who didn't have like heavy armor, you were able to get like onto the railing, so you can just kind of like jump yourself over for five feet of movement. Okay, bet. Um, and then I'm gonna gonna Eldritch blast the big boy. Nice, roll to hit. I don't have a thing for it. Um. Fourteen to hit. That Is that plus mean. anything? So it will be plus your proficiency bonus and plus your charisma modifier. Oh, one moment, please. Yep. Fourteen. That will miss as it kind of yes. just goes wide <sighs> through the water. And then I'm just going to move this way. So everyone else can clamber on as well if they want. Nice. That will bring us to Lucius. I'm going to clamber up the 15. Sorry, Jack, I'm technically above you. Uh... Guiding bolt, does that work underwater? Yeah, yeah. So it's, it's just weapon stuff yep. that is yeah, constricted. That's... Magic is go hard. Yep. Uh, yeah, guiding bolt. The big dog. Nice. Roll to hit, please. Busk. For a eight, miss. That will miss. Uh, and for now, that'll end my turn. Okay. Uh, did you want to stay where you are on the side, or did you want to climb over? Uh, n not quite enough room yet. I don't think I have enough movement. Okay. I'm happy to be hanging from the side. That's All fine. Right. Uh, that will bring us to Jack Rackham. Uh, I'm going to follow suit of Lucius, use my movement to get up to the edge of the um, ship there. I'm going to use my action to dash, I'm going to grab onto like the railing and then use that to kind of propel myself up and like further onto the ship. So I'm going to use that to kind of shoot myself another 15 feet over to here, about five feet off the actual deck itself. Nice. And then I'm just going to float there and I'm going to draw my uh, two new goblin short swords and then I'm just going to like kind of tense and then I'm going to use a bonus action to activate my fury of the tides as the kind of sea around me starts to like kind of almost pulse and like shift with me and okay. I'm going to end my turn there cool uh, that'll bring us to Tacitus okay so <clears throat> just making sure I get 30 feet then yeah correct yeah cool just making sure to assume uh, alright this guy seems like the biggest threat, so I'm going to go for him. Uh, pull out both my sky meters. Nice. Swim my way over to him and make two attacks. First one is a 19 to hit. Uh, 19 will hit. Does 11 slashing damage. Uh, roll the second one. 11, nice. 24 damage. to hit. 24 hits. Uh, doing six damage. I don't get the modifier on this one. Nice damage. Uh, as you just uh, draw your your blades, go up to me and just cut, cut, and you can see this dark purple blood kind of seep into the water as he turns to you. Um, not looking too happy at all. Is there anything else you'd like uh, to do? On that, second, on that second hit, could I pump my Colossus Slayer into that? Definitely, yeah. Hell yeah. Makes an extra eight slashing damage. Oh. I'm rolling max on oh. all my damage dice damage. in the minute. Stole on this dude. Uh, and yeah, that's it. Um, I'm about to take some punishment, but you know. <laughs> Part Get of the job. jobs. Yeah, yeah. Um, Why that, paid? that will bring us to them. Are uh, these two up the back here? Uh, you can see they pull out a, a bolt that they've got lying on the ground. Uh, one pulls the big draw sting back, resets them, the other one sets it in. Uh, that's their action to do that, and they begin to aim it again. Uh, this one here is going to swim on up to here. This one's going to swim up to you, Jack Rackham. And this one's going to swim up to you, Xanthia. Uh, so I'll do uh, top to bottom first. So... Tassus first. Alright, uh, so he's going to uh, do a spear attack and then attempt to bite you each. 
Um, so we've got a nine, which will not hit as he goes to spear you and you just bl block it with your swords. Uh, and then goes to parry with an eight, uh, with a bite, sorry, uh, which will also miss. Uh, uh -huh. Then on Jack Rackham, spear, yat, 14 to hit. Parried off. Nice. And then a bite to hit. 18. Ah, gets a bit itch. As he sinks his teeth in for two piercing damage. Fuck. Ow. Uh, and then on Xanthia, you've got 15 to hit. Uh, misses. Nice. And a claw attack, 16 to hit. Hit. Again, the bite gets through for five piercing damage as he bites into you. Uh, that will end their turn and bring us to the wounded Tuk Tuk. Uh, Tuk Tuk, you're currently about 60 feet away um, from the ship. What would you like to do? Um, I'm going to, first off, I'm going to swim, um, if that guy's there, I'm going to swim like at an angle back towards the ship. I can only swim like 15 feet, but, so now I'm what? You can dash still though. Away? You can dash if you'd like. If you'd like to use your action um, to dash swim. Nah, I'm good. I'll just, do, yeah, do my 15 feet, so I'm now 45 away, feet away from the ship. And I'm gonna, with my action, I'm going to moonbeam the big beach. Nice. So it's a five foot little, from the heavens straight through the water, comes a giant moonbeam, even though it's during the day. But you know how magic. Um, magic bitch. Come. Yeah, fuck yeah, magic. 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 Fuck you, magic bitch. Um, so. Uh, five foot sphere will come down into a spot I choose within 120 feet, which is going to be right on this beach. Okay. What does he have I to do? Don't want to get chastised. Um. No. I think. <clears throat> no. Uh, can you please make a Constitution saving throw, please? Constitution. Okay. Yes. Uh, he got a 16 on his con save. Uh, damn it. He meets it and beats it, so he'll take half of that. So seven. Nice. Oh, magic. Uh, nice radiant damage. damage, if that means anything. Uh, you can't see that it does. He just kind of gets burned on the shoulder, and then as he moves out of the way, uh, he roars at you, and this echoing, kind of vibrating, gargle roar uh, can be heard even from 45 feet away. Okay. And then yeah, I'm just gonna like be looking back, swimming my little ass off. Nice. Uh, that'll bring us to uh, the top of the round with him. Uh, he's gonna use his action. Uh, he begins to make these almost like this wave effect starts to come off him. Um, Tuk Tuk, when you were a dolphin. You could sense this thing. It's almost like a, a sonar kind of chat. And you can hear it through the water. Um, so something will be coming soon. Uh, and then he is... Uh, shoot it. Uh, that is his... T that's all he can really do as an action. That will bring us to Axel. <clears throat> um, I'm going to... These... Blister things are there floating back here. Yeah. Would I know? Do they need two people to man and fire, or is it just quicker for two people to do it? It's just quicker. You need someone to reload the string, load the bolt, and then fire. <coughs> so optimally, you'd have three people. So in game sense, you can fire it once per round, but they've only got only got two. Okay, I'm going to do it anyway. Uh, I'm going to move this way uh, as much as I can, so... Oops. There. Um, before I get there, I'll cast uh, um, Vortex Warp on one of these guys, so they aren't um, 
like try and move him away for the blister so they can't man him and then load him so they can shoot at us. And then I'll teleport him um, over here if he fails to save. What save does he have to roll? He's make a con save. Okay. Oh, he fails. Uh, so you point to nice. where you'd like to move him just here. Just there. Nice. As uh, you throw this little dart out, it goes swimming. And as it hits, you see this portal just suck it up around him. And then he just pops right into the corner there, looking very confused as to what just happened. Nice. And then I'll, yeah, uh, move to there, which I think is as far as I can go. And then I'll prepare to attack for my next turn. Nice. That'll bring us to Xanthia. Which way is the gun pointed? Uh, it's pointing south towards the group. Okay. I'm going to try and stab this guy right. with disadvantage. Oof. This might not be terrible. It also might be terrible. Uh, 15 to hit. 15 hits. Nice. Uh, for 10 damage. Nice. Damage. As you pierce into him, uh, he looks bloodied and as he like holds his side and looks up at you. Um, definitely about to return the favour. Is there anything else you'd like to do? Yes. It is. Move the fuck away because... Gone. Um... Only 15 feet as well. A little bit back, yeah. Yeah. Am I still covered by big guy? Yeah. If anything comes flying, I'm safe. <laughs> We're good. Self preservation. Um, that is all. Thank you. Cool. Uh, that will bring us to Lucius. Uh, Lucius is going to actually get up. Five feet. And then run 10 feet behind Xanthia. Hello. And then pump another guiding bolt at the big dude. Hopefully, nice. hopefully hitting. For a 24 to hit. Big hit and big damage as he begins to glow with this radiant, um, this radiant glow as it hits him in his shoulder and just begins to like almost pulse in this light. Um, next person that hit it, hit it does have advantage. Anything else you'd like to do? Uh, I'm going to use one of my channel divinities and regain a level one spell slot. Ah, that's good. Damn. Nice. The, cl <laughs> the cleric boy. Uh, is there anything else you'd like to do? The domain cleric. The domain cleric. Yeah, the domain clerics. <laughs> <laughs> that ends well, uh, that'll bring us to Jack Rackham. All right, sweet. So with Fury of the Tides, I can push someone back ten feet if I hit him. Does it being underwater purely not affect that? Right, I can still bat someone away. Yeah, you can move someone away ten feet. It doesn't say like this effect doesn't work in water. So it's in the vein. I'm gonna. Yeah, I'd start an if DM. I'm gonna float up to this dude. Float like, like kind of like above. Him, so I'm away from this little dude. Yep. So he begins to attack if he wants it. Uh, yeah, he'll have a he'll have a stabby stab with you as he thrusts out with a spear. Hayat, for a seventeen to hit. Ends my C. Yat for nine piercing damage as you're going away and he just gets you like right in the butt cheek and you're like, ah, you bastard. <laughs> ah, my ass. Um, okay, so I'm gonna like kind of hover above this dude, so I'm like kind of looking down at him. And then essentially, I want to turn him into a basketball and just do, 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 with uh, each hand. So I'm going to uh, hit him once with my action, then bonus action in with the offhand attack, and then first level divine smite in each pump. And hopefully, he's going to, to the deck, bounce back up, and to the deck again, kind of thing, with my thing. So let's see how this goes. Yeah, uh, 15 to hit. You get advantage on that first roll. Yeah, you oh, get I do. Advantage on that first roll. <clears throat> Uh, just roll a d d20 again. Yeah, I'll do that. Um, uh, 16 to hit. That'll hit. <laughs> That's his AC. Yeah. Fuck yeah. So he takes that plus I was first level divine smite into it. Uh, so 
30 po- uh, sorry 28 points of damage nice so as you come hit. up to swing down the, your, uh-huh. your sword nice. glows like this greenish blue deep color and you just hit him boom and you've overdone it and he goes flying through the first part of the deck boom, crashes through the deck and then like bounces off the side and plummets into the sand uh, below everyone here oh. <laughs> dead oh. <Ooh>. so, uh, <laughs> sweet <laughs> Great, uh, and I'm just going to look down at this one to my left and just kind of get the sword and just, <laughs> just throw it at him as the as flavoring the offhand attack. Uh, now, to I don't, I don't add because I'm not I'm not proficient in dueling. I don't. I just it's a straight roll, isn't it's it? It's a straight roll and a straight damage bonus. roll as well. Yeah, you don't add your modifier to damage. And to the yeah, hit so as just, well. Yeah, so it's, it's offhand attack. I'm not proficient. I'm not dueling. I don't. It's just a straight D20 roll then. Uh, yeah, I can't remember. Uh, so, 16 hit, little boy? Yeah, it hits. Uh, it takes. Uh, and I don't add my strength modifier to damage, do I? Or No, no I don't modify to damage. It's the D6. Just a D6. Uh, four. Four slashing damage. I did say I was pumping two Divine Smites into the second dude. Is that, is that I throw into that dude as well? I can take or leave it. I said I was going to, but if I... It's up to you. Uh, Divine Smites are called. Ah, so. fuck it. Have this. hey yeah. Eat a bag of dicks. Uh, for 16 points of damage, that dude. Nice. Uh, he's looking fucked up. As you've uh, basketball this guy, Lord. and then you've thrown your blade, and it just hits him, and he goes shooting back 10 feet uh, into the mast. And he looks up at you like... Yes, he takes... Uh, if, he, if he hits that mast, he takes another three points of bludgeoning damage. There's my charisma to fire if he hits something. As he hits the back of the mast, you hear this, like, snap. And then he just floats, like, down the mast. Like a very poor, not very good stripper, just, like, slumps onto the floor. Uh, a lot of blood begins to fall around him. Dropping it low, I love it. Alright, now that's my turn. Excellent. That will bring us to Hazardous. Uh, so, first of all, sorry to rules lawyer. Um, just reading something on two-weapon fighting. It just says, unless you have the uh, two-weapon fighting like fighting style it's just you don't add your ability modifier to the damage of the bonus attack not the not the actual attack roll so I, think again, I, could... so I so I don't add my like strength modifier to the damage yeah it's only, it's only to the damage I mean, so you don't add it you can still add it to the attack roll I'd, that's just what I'm reading I could be it could be changed in the handbook or something like that but Says, do not add the modifier you're making with the attack roll to the damage from the offhand attack. Just let me check the player's handbook real quick. On two up and fighting. Oi. No, it's That's okay. That's what's good to know. Oh, yeah, because I don't think I've dual wielded without being dual wielder. Yeah, same. The other feet, so. When you take the attack action, Hello. attack with a light weapon, short sorts of light weapons. Yep. Okay, so yeah, it's just the damage. Okay, well, either way, still hits, so yep. sweet for next time. Well, two weapon, two that. weapon fighting. When you engage in two weapon fighting, you can add your ability modifier to the damage of the second attack. So then, what does the feat give you? That is. You can doesn't have to be a light weapon. Yeah, but it says it gives good. you a plus one to AC or something, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah, you think you get a plus one to AC, and, you, and they don't have to be light. You have like two long swords. Yeah, cool, easy. Uh, the next time, it's good. Nice. Anyway, uh, I swim to the closest guy and attack him twice. Okay, cool, Sorry easy. For making that too long. No, 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 it's fine. <sighs> It's a 14 hit. Uh, that guy, definitely. Cool. He takes 10 points of slashing damage. Nice. Still up? Yeah, still up. As you slash okay, into it. Second attack. 18, he takes 1 point of slashing damage. Nice. And I'll also, just for the hell of it, pump Colossus Slayer into it. So, an extra 7. Good damage. As you slash and then oh, slash damn. off. 
Uh, he's looking on Death's doorstep, but he's still got a bit of fight in him. Damn it. Alrighty. Anything else you'd like to do? Uh, oh, just... I totally forgot. I got too caught up in being a rules lawyer. Before that, I would have... Like, uh, before swimming up, I would have kind of looked <laughs> down through the hole and then looked at Jack and gone, Yeah, nice! And then swam off. That's about it. Cool. Uh, smash. That will bring us to old matey that has been called in uh, as you see this massive shark begin to approach oh, fuck. the north of the <gasps> ship yes uh, he used his movement to get in and then he's going to dash in uh, he's got just these bloodshot eyes ready to feast uh, that will bring us to after them to these guys the sea devils um by himself, he's going to very awkwardly try to shoot you, Jack Rackham. Uh, so he'll try to shoot you with disadvantage by himself on the on the siege machine. Uh, roll. Oi. D20. That's 20s. Plus 5. What? For a 7. And a natural 20. Yes. Yes. Oh, thank so goodness. <laughs> <laughs> As this blue ball goes... Disadvantage, right? What's advantage? Huh? <laughs> It was a disadvantage, right? Oh, thank you, fucking Christ. Because it's just him shooting it <laughs> as this <laughs> blister bot goes flying over your head. Um, there goes Jack again. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that will bring us to Tuk Tuk. I'm just going to spend my entire turn, uh, movement and action to dash as 30 feet closer to the boat. Cool. Uh, so at the end of your turn with the 30 feet, you probably get to roughly about here, um, in line like where you are on the map. You are now there as you make your way in. Okay, cool. Swimming yep. as fast as you can. Question. And now that I see the shark, am I able to turn into a shark? Uh, it has a CR shark, rating of 5, so I don't think you can turn into something that... No, I mean, because I, I can turn into a reef shark, which is a form of shark. Would that count? Or do I have to see that specific, specific animal? No, I'll give uh, you just... I'll give you close enough. Like, yeah, that's fun. Yes. Some shark on shark action, baby. Nice. I think uh, I've seen that. That's Tuk Tuk's <laughs> turn. Uh, that will bring us to Axel. Uh, I'm going to walk up and try finish off this... Uh swimming dude here uh, I'm gonna charge up my gauntlet and uh, attempt to hit him with that uh, disadvantage. Ooh, 11 to hit 11 does not hit as you like go uh, to charge it up and then you <clears> swing <throat> and just the water just slows you down and you just slosh to the side like a bullet spinning <laughs> through the water it's like when you try to fight someone in your dreams, you're like... Ugh. Yeah. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> it was uh, a disadvantage, right? Was it? That's... Yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay, yeah. And then, uh, that's my turn. I'm going to have anything for my bonus action. Alrighty, that'll bring us to Xanthia. Mike. My apologies. I am hooking it this way. So only 15 feet. Actually, no, Not you if can, I'm dashing. Yeah, you can use your bonus action to dash, that's right. I do that, and I get to here. And I iron down the ballista dude. That's my turn, thank you. Plus, uh, you still have your action, so you could Eldritch Blast, or dash again. Oh, is that not my... Because you're a Roger, so you can use... Cunning action, which is you can use your bonus action to dash, disengage, or dodge. I haven't played a rogue in so long. This is the best ever. Well, and what's that? Another fifteen? And even hide as well. Yeah, you can see him. He's got a little bit of cover, but you can definitely see him. What? No, is it the, another fifteen? Yeah, fifteen feet. Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> God damn. I thought you said, can I see him? Another 15. Can I see him? It's not a suck it up there. Me, 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 me. Me, 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 me. That's all. That's all I do. Yeah, better be. Uh, 
Uh, that will bring us to <laughs> Lucius. I'm gonna yeet us this spear at the shark. No, don't Just hit my like, point. Definitely a miss. I will miss with a 10. Uh, and then I will slowly make my major visit. Oh, actually, better than I thought. And with my bonus action, I will cast nothing at this time. Disappointing my turn. Yes. <laughs> uh, that will bring us to Jack Rackham. Can have a plan. Uh, I'm gonna look down at the hole I just made in the ship with this fish body. Look at the shark. Back the hole. Look at the shark. Just kind of drop my shoulders and fucking swim towards the shark and start to fucking fight a shark because that's D and D, baby. Fuck you, shark. <laughs> uh, and then Giant I'm going shark to. Too. <laughs> I'm going to stab this shark with my short sword. Nice. Fuck you. <laughs> Hiya. Nine. Will not hit. Fuck. Can I throw it to my other hand and bonus action off hand and that through my other sword? You were close enough to the other guy that I say you, you can grab your sword as you run, as you as you go ah, past, sweet. that's not a problem. Sweet, let's, yeah, uh, off hand, bonus action, a second hey, uh, 16 hit? That'll hit. Uh, without the modifier on the damage, just two points of... That's, that's rough as... Yeah, great. Great. Uh, that's gonna be me staring down the shark's gullet. Nice. That'll bring us to Tacitus. Um, I look at this guy in front of me who's looking pretty rough, and then I look up and I see my companion fighting a huge fuck off shark. And I just kind of go, yeah, I should probably go deal with the thing that looks a little bit more dangerous. Um, and I'm gonna run off and take the attack of opportunity. Okay. Nice. As, uh, as you leave his space, he's going to spear you with a oh, 22 to hit, which will hit, for four piercing yeah, damage. Hit. Oh no, not four. And the shark, get, the shark gets pushed back 10 feet to make it worse. <laughs> well, I guess down. He gets pushed down 10 feet because I'm going to fucking keep battering him. Nice. They're just angled. As um, in. and, yeah. Go swimming and, like, kind of pass the shark while swimming and do, like, a full 360 mid-swim and but, but like, start off, hit, spin around, come around, hit again. As nice. I keep swimming past him. Nice. Roll so to hit. First hit. Tornado, that sounds cool. Watch, watch me miss both. <laughs> yeah, ten to, ten to hit. Ten will miss. <laughs> Alright. And the back oh, end coming through. <laughs> it's, it's, a, it's a wind up. I got him. Yes. <laughs> Twelve to hit. Twelve I bet that also missed. Just miss. Oh, As you hit his skin, but it's just, it's a bit slippery and your blade doesn't catch, it just slides across it. I bet this still looks cool. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that will bring us to the shark. Um, so, uh, yeah, you've got more health missing uh, Tacitus, so he's going to come after you. Uh, he does get blood more. Blood frenzy, so he does, does this with advantage. Which is oh, fuck rough. off! Yeah. Oof. Yep. Sick. Uh, for a nineteen to hit, this is gonna. Cool. Hurt. Can I add my Can I add my psychic block to that? Uh, yeah, you can. Yeah, highly recommend it. Okay, so it's a nine. So after all, a three or higher. Three or higher. Come on, baby. Oy! Yes. Hey. Nice. Uh, you take that five psychic damage. Um, Thankfully. Happily. As this shark bites into you and you just like go into a little ball and this shield just pops around you and it's unable to pierce it. Um, that's its turn. That'll bring us to the sea devils. Uh, this one here is going to forego it loading this ballista and come up to you, Xanthia, and attempt a spear and a bite. Spear for a 13, which will miss, and then a bite for a 5, which will also miss. As he comes in, you just nimbly block either side. Um, Axel, you've been left all by yourself, so you're going to get surrounded here. Oh, shit, and, sorry. And take a <laughs> and take a few. I uh, say so three spear attacks. One, two, three. 
for a 19 to hit on one of them. Ah, oh, misses. Fuck. Okay, Jesus. then three claws. I mean, bites. <laughs> bites. 16, no. 14, no. 20. Still misses. <laughs> okay. <The> 21. <laughs> <laughs> That'll bring this us is way better. to Tuk Tuk. Party of War Forge is this campaign, I think. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Harder passes. Yeah, this is that's wild. Jesus, um, I'm yeah. gonna study the shark very closely. He's my new friend, and then I'm gonna wild shape into a form of the shark, but it's just a little bit smaller. A little bit smaller, as you yeah. twist into this like rapid motion, and then you are a reef shark. No, 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 no. Yeah. No, 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 no. And I'm gonna swim up to my newfound friend. About oh, 40 feet, I get there. And I'm gonna bite him. And I get pack tactics, because I have allies in five feet. Oh, nice. Yes, reach out to the wind. Yeah! <laughs> bite his ass! Bite his ass! Uh, what do we got? Two. Oh, sorry, manage that twice. Five! Oh, not plus one, plus five. So, 17 plus five is 22 to hit. 22 hits. Yeah. 1d8 plus two. 1d8 plus two. For 10 damage. Big damage as you bite into the side of him. Twist your jaw a little bit. Uh, you can taste the blood of another shark in your mouth. Tasty. I was going death row, but I'm not a crocodile. Is there anything else you'd like to do? That is all, thank you. Excellent. Uh, that will bring us to... Uh, Axel, top of the round. <clears throat> uh, uh, I'm going to... Oh, I'm going to walk... I won't even try to swim, I'll just walk along the ship, like around to here, take some attacks. Definitely. Uh, so you take two. two. The spears. Yes. 21. And 21. Oh. Take that, mate. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Six piercing. <laughs> and two piercing. As they just go away and they've learnt where your weak spots are and just poke you right in the ribs. Uh, and then I'll, um, like, angle my fists, like, closer together so it shoots in a closer beam, but I'll uh, shoot uh, Tasha's caustic brew um, out straight at him. Nice. And then, I'm not sure, yeah. I guess it'll just be easier for them to wash off because they're already in water, but they can use an action to wash it off if they want to. Right, they At the start make... of their turn, I'll take... Oh yeah, they have to make a deck save, sorry. <laughs> nice. uh, so, we've got one mech going fail. Fail. 13? Fail. 14. DC. Oh. So they all fail. Uh, and then it's just at the start of their turn, they'll take 2d4 acid damage. On that, and then I'll use my bonus action, uh, and then like uh, touch a rune on my chest and I, um, activate that like small force field around myself and give myself some more temporary HP. Nice, very good. Anything else you'd like to do? Uh, no, that is my turn. All right, uh, that will bring us to Xanthia, the battle of the blister up top. What would you like to do? I'm gonna try and stab him. Oh! Oh, that will hit. Disadvantage, you love to see it. Damn. Definitely hit. Double 18. With 12 damage. Oh. Big damage. As you move forward and pierce into the side um, and pull it out, and blood begins to slowly pour out of him, making this pool around him, um, he's bloodied. Is that 19 damage? No sneak attack. 
no sneak attack because disadvantage. Ah, oh, disadvantage, yep. Yeah. Makes sense. Uh, that is all. Alrighty. Uh, cool, cool, cool. Uh, that'll bring us to Lucius. I'm gonna uh, cast Guiding Bolt at the shark. Nice. Like this, your dog. For a 15 to hit. 15 hits. With 14 damage. Nice. Whoa. Fucking self, that's fine. And then I will. Noticing that the shark was attacking Tastus, I'll cast Shield of Faith on him. Oh, good. What does that do? <laughs> Plus 2 DA. Thank goodness. Christ. <laughs> Very good. Now will bring us to Jack Rackham. I'm going to have a little bit of a existential crisis seeing my friend mind block a shark bite, seeing my other friend turn into a smaller shark and bite that shark, and then seeing my <laughs> other friend throw light at this shark. I'm going to kind of <laughs> collect my thoughts for a second. And then I'm going to uh, pick up a little bit higher so I'm more above the shark, and then uh, use my last spell slot, uh, another Divine Smite, try and hit this thing with my short sword. Oh. First one, see if we can beat it. Oh, yeah, 18 hit. Definitely. Four, eight. Uh, 19 points of damage. And if he hits the damage. deck, he takes another three from uh, through the tides, bouncing him down 10 yeah, feet. He does, as he just hits the bottom, uh, looks up nice. at you with this, this anger in his eyes. Damn it. 20 delicious. points of damage. Yeah, I'm just fighting above and ready. Uh, and then... Uh... Yeah. Gonna be me. That'll bring us Feeling to... Feeling out of a shark. Tacitus. I'm also having a bit of a panic attack. It's more of, uh, uh... I should have been... Should have stayed fighting the really hurt guy, because... Uh... Yeah, that move didn't go so well. Uh, but... With my new... Uh, AC powered by the holiness of Patreon. <laughs> Lucius. Uh, yeah, let's do it again. Fuck it. Swim underneath him, go like hooking under, go for an attacking at the belly, doing the same swirling dervish. Come on, let me hit. 13. 13 hits. Yes! Okay, so it takes 10 points of damage. I'm going to put Colossus Slayer on it as well. So add an extra two to that, so twelve altogether. Big damage. And then second attack. Come on, baby, give me something good. Ooh. Twenty-six to hit, so that's an extra four points of slashing damage. Nice. As you come down with again another two slashes, this time hitting their mark, uh the shark is looking bloodied. Uh yes, yeah, that's, that's all I do. Awesome. Uh, that'll bring us to the big shark boy. Uh, he's going to look up at you, Jack Rackman, and just try to bite your legs. Uh, you're missing your hit points, so this is with advantage. Ah. For 21. Yeah. Hits. For, ooh, 22. Holy fucking <laughs> Christ. <laughs> Relax. Jesus Christ. Oh my God. Calm down. Oh yes. my god. 3d10 plus shot. 6. Ouch. Can I, can I use my reaction on to psychic block for him? Nah, no, this is just on you. Oh, as this god. shark just chomps into your leg and pulls apart and there's just oh, blood man. going everywhere. Um, ending, it. ending its turn. Um, that'll bring us to the Sea Devils. Uh, two attacks on you, Xanthia. One spear. They take. Oh, uh, that one. That one first. That one first. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me do Xanthia first. You just, yeah, you sorry, just, I thought you talking about that. You <laughs> relax, then, mate. Uh, Xanthia, twenty-two to hit with a spear, which will hit yeah. for six piercing as it stabs into you, and uh, then it will attempt to bite, which will miss. Uh, that will bring us to the ones covered in acid, which take six damage. Yeah, six uh, acid. Killing this one as it. Gets a bit in his throat and he begins to gargle this white foam out of his mouth, dropping dead to the, to the bed. Um, six. Yeah, cop that. Six. Alrighty. 
Uh, they're going to come either side of you and get an old flanking action in. And then attempt to <coughs> spear you and bite you. Spear uh, for a miss. For a miss. And then two bites coming in. Ooh, for a miss. And another miss. As they just attempt to bite and, s and hit your armoured body. But they are unable to pierce it. Uh, that will bring us to Tuk Tuk. I'm gonna swim over the top of him and try and, I don't know if I can, just bump Jack out of the way a bit and then just take a chunk out of him again. Nice. And because he's within five feet, I have advantage. Pack tactics, love it. Yeah. Oh, that's at 24. And then it's 1d8 plus 2. Yes. For oh, 9. 9 damage. And in in shark language, if there is a thing, I just want to like growl at him and try and get him to focus on me, not everyone else. No shark languages. I guess. I'll just bite at him and then just try and shake him so that he like <laughs> faces me. <laughs> um, Face me, you coward. He likes the taste of Jack. With all that blood spilling out of him, fresh in his mouth. Mmm, delicious. That'll bring us to Axel. Yeah. <clears throat> I'm, gonna, uh, <laughs> I'm gonna charge up my uh, right gauntlet with a bit more thunder power this time and attempt to booming blade. Uh, guy here. Alt to hit. Hey. It's gonna be even less. Ah, uh, 11 to hit. No, yeah. 11. <laughs> 11 to hit? Doesn't hit. Just, as you like, you line it up and your, your fist is going true, it's gonna hit them, and then you just don't have any oomph as you just, like, tap him lightly in the chest. And he looks down at you and looks up. And then a bit of bubbles come out of his mouth as he laughs. We're all just standing here missing each other. <laughs> <laughs> this is a duel of the century. Uh, that's a... Uh, play on recorder. <laughs> that's my turn. Uh, Xanthia, you're up. We're going to try and finish him off. I am not going to finish him off. Does 11 hit? 11 does not hit, just misses. Yeah. Bit. As you go to pierce and stab at him, and he just moves out of the way. That is my turn. Uh, that'll bring us to Lucius. Uh, how high is Jack from off the ground? It's probably about 10 feet. Uh, or 15 feet or so. Not too much. So if I angle myself up, will I reach him? Yeah. Yes, that's good. Because I'm going to second level cast Cure Wounds on you. After you take Thank a you. bite to your face. Yeah, yep. <laughs> uh, I'll just pick it twice. There you go. Five and a twelve. Take that. Seventeen. Uh, and... No real bonuses. That'll have to be me, unfortunately. Okay. Right, so as you swim up, grab onto his leg, and this uh, this white light goes through his leg to his wounds, and they just begin to close over slowly as the blood stops to seep out. That'll bring us to you, Mr. Jack. I just, yeah, action bonus action, just shaking the thing off the sword, trying to fucking kill it. Uh, first one for... Or 16 hit. Hits. Uh, for 10 piercing damage. Nice. Bonus action 1 for 21 to hit. 4 Hits. piercing. Nice. As yeah, you got your two blades. You're just stabbing in. Uh, it's looking bloody, but it's still in it as we come to our... Uh, and if it bounced off the deck from those two hits as well, it takes another three for each time it bounced off the deck. It's on the deck. It's not going any further down. Oh, you guys are kind of like above <laughs> like it. So. Pump it through. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. Oh, good. That's me. Uh, Tacitus, you're up. 
Uh, I guess at this point I'm kind of floating above it, kind of much standing on top of it, and just kind of swinging down at it, going, fucking die! <laughs> Please die. First one is a 15 to hit. Hits. For 9 slashing damage. Gonna add Colossus Slay to that. An extra 4, so nice. 13 altogether. For God's sakes, just fucking die! 17 to hit for an extra 4 slashing damage. Nice. Oof. You die, you fucking. <laughs> he's getting there, but he's gonna <laughs> get. I want to kill it. Um, it's gonna get one more turn, I think, unless you guys. <laughs> oh no! Fuck. <laughs> uh, so let's roll a, let's roll a d3. See who it, who it uh, who it attacks. Eat me. Eat me. I was going top to bottom, so it is the shark, the reef shark, shark on shark action, as it lashes Hell out yeah. and bites at you. Ooh, for a nineteen to hit. Yeah, yeah. For 25 piercing damage. I am Tuk Tuk again. <laughs> <laughs> it has 22, my sharky boy. As it bites into you, rips you a bit, and then kind of you kind of fall out of its mouth. Going back to Tuk Tuk size. Yay! Uh, that'll bring us to the Sea Devils. Uh, let's go to the top, top jewel first. Xanthia with a 8 and a 15. It's a 15 hit, Xanthia. No. Okay. And that'll bring us to the Metal Boy. With a... They take what about 6 me? acid damage. 6 acid. Uh, miss, miss, miss. Oh, 21 to hit. It hits. <laughs> and another miss. Uh, for three piercing damage. Oh, they are both... Oh, one is very close to death. And the other one is still just letting it burn off him. Very content in, in ending this robot's life. Uh, that'll bring <laughs> us to Tuk Tuk. Okay. Um, so we, we're all above the shark, correct? Kind of thing? Yeah, you swim it around it's on different planes, yeah. Okay, cool. I'm going to get like above it to make sure everyone else is like not near me and I'm going to cast Thunder Wave down at it. So can it please make a constitution saving throw, please? Okay. I then bolt of the ship. Yeah. Con save. hey up. For a nine. Oof. He fails. So he is, he takes 2d8 thunder damage for a nine. And then he's also... Push 10 feet away. Push uh, 10 feet straight down. Yeah, so he's just like flat on the deck. After being battered down there, he's like probably as flat as he can go on the deck. Yes. We're kicking. Anything else you'd like to do, talk to him. Oh, fuck. Damn it. Shark <laughs> man. <laughs> oh, he's killing this fucking shark. Yeah. Beefy. He's a, he's a dummy thick shark. Uh, that'll bring us to Axel. <clears throat> I didn't have any luck with uh, this one, so I'm going to turn to this one, and then I'm going to charge up my Thunder Gauntlet again with some more Thunder Energy and attempt to Booming Blade. This guy. Right, the disadvantage, god damn it. God damn it, another 11 to it. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> just these slow strokes coming through with all full force. Unable to connect. There's too much water in front of my visual senses, I can't see. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, but uh, uh, nothing for a bonus action, that's my turn. Okay. Uh, that'll bring us to Xanthia. It was definitely finishing it off this time. Definitely. 100%. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Lordy lord. I slip. Don't you have that the dagger you found? No. I gave it to the Geordie. You just off and above us. Yeah. <laughs> Geordie, did you get given a dagger? I don't remember you get given a dagger. Yeah, I got a dagger. I said to anyone who wants a dagger, but no one took it, so. Question me yes, again, I, I swear to God. <laughs> We're I, keep, I keep track of my things. What about that nice dagger you found? That was it? That. <laughs> 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 
how many daggers do you think I have? But, did you tell Jordy it was a plus one dagger? Oh, uh, what? No, I told her it was a poison dagger. Oh, that's right. Yeah, 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 correct. correct. That'll bring it's, us it's to not, Lucius. But I told her it was. <laughs> I wrote down poison dagger. <laughs> Motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> I played in Rams. Class <laughs> one. I am going to swing at the shark with disadvantage. Jesus, this one. Roll to hit. That's gonna be fucking round. <laughs> Kill it. Oh, hold on. Uh, we're on. We're on. <laughs> we're on. Right we're on. Uh, 18 to hit. Hits. Big money. Um, Come on. Big money. Come on. Fuck him up. Bring it down. Let's go. Oh. Oh. The damage, oh. which is 10 damage. 10 damage. Nice. As you hit into this shark, it looks up at you. It's like twitching slightly. Still in the fight. Moving. Oh, you fuck. Oh my god. <laughs> Just die. <laughs> Just fucking die, you shark bitch. What the fuck? Uh, anything else you'd like to do? Ah, uh, no, that's all I can do. God damn it. <laughs> that will bring us to Jack Rackham. Uh, oh, no, I, I will fuck Trap. you up. <laughs> 15 hit. 15 hits. 7 damage. That will do it. Oh. Oh. Your, oh. your, and your blades into it. <laughs> Twist it in. <laughs> it, it. <laughs> it stops moving and lies flat. Uh, motionless on the deck. And then you take Fuck a look around uh, and you can see some sea devils still swimming around. Ah. Uh. Uh. Me. <laughs> Uh, I'm just gonna leave that sword in that shark and just my other hand just come around with this dude and just uh, like just no energy in it but just fucking attempt to hit him roll to hit for a 20 22 to hit hit yeah 4 slashing damage that will do him as you come <laughs> down and just I cut just, into his chest give the side eye to Axel that's my turn I had him <laughs> ready uh Tacitus, what would you like to do? Finally seeing this shark die, I'm just totally like a blood frenzy and just kind of scream at the dead shark. Finally! I turn around to Xanthia. <laughs> yeah, I make it. I just kind of swim as fast as I can aggressively over to this guy. And just like... Totally blind. Seeing red, just attack this guy twice. <laughs> 15 to hit. That will do it. As you run into him, you just slash down, big gaping yeah. wound from top to the bottom, and just opens him up. And his bits of his innards begin to slowly fall out. And then I use the rest of my action to look up into the sky and go, <laughs> <laughs> "Fuck!" You're nothing. You just see some bubbles come out. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> really bloody bubbles. <laughs> Uh, that will bring us to the Z Devils. This last one, uh, he's going to attempt to 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 take you out, Axel. Wait, he takes five acid damage. Oh, oh, come on, Holy let's go, God. let's go. As he like, yes. just, uh, a little bit more goes into his throat <laughs> and begins to cough and cough as his white foam begins to form and falls down dead. Ending. It was a waiting game. Combat. I'm gonna use Axel as a springboard and like kick up his chest <laughs> to go swim towards that the big shark that I pump on through the deck. The, the big king that I pump on through the deck and try and. Uh, before we do any money. of that, uh, we will have a quick break. Uh, just go stretch our legs, grab some water. Um, cool, great combat sesh. That was a good bit of fun. Um, we'll be back in about ten That's minutes sure. or so, guys. See you then.
come on now, Geordie. The worst. You better than that. And we're back. Yes. <laughs> um, yeah, excellent. Yeah. So uh, the crew, having defeated a group of shark, a group of sea devils, and a very spongy shark, what would you like to do? Uh, yeah, kicking off Axel to go and swim down and find where the body of this king <laughs> fish dude fell to after I pulled him through the deck. Yeah, I'm going to follow. Okay. Yeah. Um, so you look over the edge, uh, and he's like on the bottom of the sea, of the seabed at the very bottom. You can see this massive hole in the side, um, and he's lying at the bottom there. <clears throat> Are you heading down and approaching him? Yeah, I'm just going to have a, a peek in the hole while I'm swimming down, but going straight to the king. Mm. Okay. Um, as you peek your head down uh, over the side, uh, you look into one, into the first deck. All you see is like a straight wall, pretty much, and then a door, which is still on its hinges uh, and resting there. Uh, you go down to the second deck, and as you uh, poke your little noggin over the edge... Um, you see some quite large creatures already looking up uh, with this body uh, of their fallen leader on the floor next to you. I need everyone to roll initiative. <laughs> oh, fuck. Bruh. I am back in my oh, floor. Man. I'm there with him. Oh my god. I'm gonna die. Yes. Uh, let me clear initiative first, and then we'll uh, <clears throat> we will get cracking again. I spent everything I had on that shit. Sh <laughs> Leave me alone. <laughs> Is that shield of faith still up, Lucius? Uh, yes, I am still concentrating on it. Oh, thank goodness. Thank you. All right, you are all on the turn order, so feel free to add yourselves. All righty. Alrighty. Cool. Uh, so with a little, a little scream of help from coming below, uh, Tacitus, you're up. What would you like to do? Uh, okay. So what am I looking at here? You're looking over the edge. You can't okay. see anything. You just see Jack just quickly draw his swords. Um, and, yeah. Okay, if I quickly peek, like, swim out a little bit to kind of see how far I have to go before I can see what he's looking at. Uh, you have to go about 20 feet down. I'll just move you over to where you can poke your head over the edge and see, see all the dudes in there. These very large creatures with these large harpoons um, all kind of crouching down. Okay, so to get the 20 feet down, I'm going to quickly, like, swim underneath the hole on the top deck and, like, plant my feet on the roof and push off just to kind of swim down as fast as possible. Nice. Um, so that's 20 feet of movement, and then I'm there. Oh, shit. 
Uh. Okay. Uh. I can't get to any of them with my extra ten feet of movement. Uh. So I'm gonna just swim over next to my buddy and at least make it difficult for them to figure out which one to go for first. On a session, start the fusion dance. Yeah. <laughs> oh, actually, can I use my action to cast Entangle on one of them? Yeah, sure, definitely. Which one? Hell yeah. Just, just uh, let's just go with the guy dead center. Dead center? He needs yeah. to make a save? Dex? Let's make a dex saving throw. Of... A four. Uh, so... Four, yeah, he fails. You cast this spell real quick, and they're a little bit surprised as to what's going on. And he can't move out of the way as these vines just appear out of the woodwork and grapple onto him. Oh, actually, sorry. It's everything within a 20-foot square, so... Yeah, can I, can I get all three of these guys? Sure can. Hell yeah. I'm going to get those three. Dex, Please. Save. 13? Oh, hold on, sorry. I think a 13 might succeed. Yeah, it just does. Okay, uh, so the other other one, the other big guy, he succeeds. And then a deck save. And then another 13 um, yeah. from okay. a priestess. <laughs> Damn, well, still, I got that one guy. Cool. Uh, so, do they, t they take no damage? No, they don't take any damage. They're just entangled. Yeah, he's just restrained. Okay, nice. Uh, that will bring us to the priestess. Um, she's going to step out a little bit. And then... She's going to whack you with a... Guiding Bolt, Tacitus. Yat! Ooh, for a 7 to hit, which will miss. Miss. Um, and then she's going to wrap her hands in the air and begin to swirl it and then push out. And this... Almost this water-shaped trident comes floating before you. Uh, she casts Spiritual Weapon, and then she's going to attempt yep. to hit you with that, with an 18 to hit. That just mm. hits. Uh, I'm going to use my last Psychic Block. Nice. Fuck. Okay. I didn't want it to be that high. I only needed one, but okay. Um, mm. As it blocks you, you see she scowls and retreats back in here. Uh, cool. That will bring us to... The Mero, uh, this one here is going to come out here, uh, and he sees you, Jack, and he's going to throw one of his harpoons at you. Hayat! For an eight, which will miss. Right there. Um, and that is his turn. That will bring us to Lucius. I'm uh, going to... After hearing the screams, I'll run over to the body, uh, pick up its spear, because I lost one in the battle before, and then run to here, and then dash 15 feet. Nice. Uh, as you begin to dash off the edge, I'll move you across um, to here, as you kind of just naturally f like fall down uh, quite slowly. Yep. Uh, you're about 10 feet off the ground, the same as where... Jack and uh, Tacitus are about 10 feet off the ground. Uh, but yeah, you can see uh, these other threats around as you dash into this area. Oh, they're so sexy, these dudes. I'll say that. Uh, ending my turn. Nice. Uh, that'll bring us to Jack Rackham. Wait, uh, going for the dude who threw the spear at me. I'm going to swim up in his base and do attacks with my short swords. Nice. Uh, first made a 15 hit. That'll hit. Uh, for 9 slashing. Nice. And offhand, full offhand for a natural 20. Ooh, nice. Ooh. For 2. 2 <laughs> points of damage. <laughs> <laughs> Take that. Rough. Yeah, you prick. And you Fuck, slash man. into him twice. Uh, anything else you'd like to do? That's, that's everything I got. That's my turn. Nice. Xanthia, you're up. I... Uh... I'm also going to go over the edge. Nice. Oh. I don't know how I feel about this. 
Oh, I really don't know how I feel about this. <laughs> right. Um, I'm gonna swim up to this one and stab him. Nice. Please. Nope. Eight to hit. Eight does not hit, unfortunately. I'm shocked and surprised. That is all. Okay, excellent. Actually, hiding wouldn't really do anything for me, would it? Not in the middle of the open there. It would give you advantage if you bet their passive perception and you're able to hide, and then you can maybe Eldritch Blast with a, with an advantage roll. <coughs> I cannot. Um, okay, that's all then. Okay. And that'll bring us to Tuk Tuk. I'm just gonna make my way, making my way over to the edge, and then floating down to where, as far as I can go with my um, action is to dash as well. Okay, nice. Uh, yeah, you're able to get almost to the bottom of the seafloor bed uh, as you fuck. fall across the edge there. E. Question. Yes. Would it be an action or a bonus action to? Give someone a dagger per se. <laughs> pass a dagger over. It would just be a like a free action, just for you to pull it out and pass it over. That's fine. Okay. I'll just pull out the apparent plus one dagger that I have, and I'll <laughs> float it over to. Well, Zanzi's probably the first person I see, so she's getting it back. So here, I'll toss it, and it'll like slowly just do 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 do. Over to her. Right into her arm. Yeah. Thank yes. you. Nice. <laughs> uh, go, go. Ah, oh, fuck. Uh, <laughs> that'll bring us to this one here. He's going to swim up this way. Uh, and he's going to line up a harpoon shot on you, Lucius. Is he entangled? Uh, he's entangled. Oh, he is. He, his movement yeah. is zero. He can still make an attack at disadvantage, or he can use his action to uh, try to escape again. I think restrained is just... a. Oh no, it is disadvantage. Uh, okay, if that's the case, he's going to try to harpoon you, Tacitus. With a Hayat. Ten. Uh, which will miss. miss. Uh, cool. Uh, that will bring us to the next one. Uh, Xanthi, you're in range. So he's just going to... He is going to harpoon you and then claw you. Yeah. For a 24 to hit. Ah, oh, shit. I mean, a 14 um, to hit, sorry. Doesn't hit. Nice, and then a claw for nine, oh, which broke, will I also think. Mitch. Miss. Mish. 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 Uh, with Mish by that much. Those, that will bring us to Axel. Uh, I assume something's going on because everyone's swam away. Yeah. <laughs> just, <laughs> just left you. Yeah. I was so sad. on my way downstairs. If I stick my head around this corner or like down past the thing, is this where all the action's happening? Yeah. Can I um, head downstairs to where it's all happening? Oh no, I, sorry. It's off the side, on. off the side of the ship here. So you'd have to swim oh, okay. up to here. Yeah, I wasn't sure if that would lead me down to where. No, off the all off at. the side here. So it, t it takes you your movement to get off to the edge there. But you can see down and you can see these big marrow creatures, um, Jack fighting some. Yeah, okay, I'll move um, uh, to there just so I can see what's happening. Yep. I'll just move you over so you can see what's happening. But you're about 30, 25 to 30 feet up. Uh, I will use my action to dash just so I can get down. Or like, nice. step off and fall down. And then... Nice. Yeah, you, uh, with your weight, with all the armor you've got on, you just kind of move a lot quicker and you just hit two feet, hit the seaboard flare, uh, hit the bottom. Being your turn. That'll bring us to the top of the round with our. Mysterious ranger friend, what would you like to do? Um, I imagine 
Oh, so, so I've taken quite a lot of damage, most of it has been from my own psychic block. Uh, so there's a lot of blood just <laughs> pooling around my nose and getting washed away. Uh, I imagine my eyes are probably bloodshot as well. Uh, but, that's just fun flavor. It doesn't really matter. I'm going to swim up to this guy and make two attacks with advantage against him because he's restrained. Nice. Uh, so, first attack is... Oh, fuck. Um, six plus seven, so... Math, 13 to hit. Uh, 13 does not hit. Oh, no, does it? Does it? Made it or made it? Oh, thank God. Uh, so... Does... Two plus five. Why did my brain not do a math? Seven points of slashing damage on the first hit. Nice. And then second attack. Come on. Cool. Uh, so eight to nineteen to hit. Nineteen hits. Second bit of damage. Another D six. Four slashing damage. Add in Colossus Slayer to that. So eight altogether slashing. Nice. As you swim up. Slash, slash, and this blood begins to slowly seep from him. Anything else you'd like to do? Uh, I'm going to back up. Alrighty. We'll get an attack of opportunity, but he has disadvantage, so bugger him. Um, 19 to hit. Fuck, that does hit. Alright, can you please make a strength... Strength yeah. check. Strength check. As you take 14 piercing damage. Can it not be a saving throw? No, it's a contested uh, strength. God damn it. That's really bad. Come on, give me a nat 1, because I've got... Not nat 1, nat 20. That'd be much nicer. Oof. Oh, you got it. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> yep, no. Uh, so you get pulled 20 feet back into him. Oh, fuck. Does it, doesn't he have disadvantage? He did have disadvantage. Oh, no, Sorry. No, oh, the fuck. strength check. I read the net 20 and I was like, no, he gets, he gets disadvantage. Oh, he no. gets an 8. I swear. <laughs> please, uh, please. Don't hurt me. Please. The harpoon to hit was a 19 with disadvantage. Yeah. Uh, as he Pass. pulls you up back in and you can see his tentacles from his mouth begin to like come towards you. Feasting time. Nom, 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 nom. Shit. Uh, that'll bring us to the priestess. Uh, she's going to come out. She's going to come. Do, 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 do. Uh, and she's going to shoot a guarding bolt at Axel. Uh, Hayat. Oh. Oh. I wish that was. Uh, That's not advantage, right? <laughs> Is it? No, nah, it's not. Yeah. Uh, which will miss. She has advantage to fuck you. And it's... <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, but she's going to use her spirit guardian to hit Tuk Tuk. This bitch. Yet. That will crit. Oh. Oh. Uh, for 18 force damage. As Tuk -tuk it's... floats in the water. She is unconscious. Oh. Oh. No good. Oh no. Um, and then sh this little gypsy is going to swim on back. Uh, that will bring us to this this big boy here fighting Jack Rackham. He's going to attempt to harpoon you and then claw you. Yet. Oh. Fucking relax. What the fuck? Oh. Oh. Wow. Fucking oh. three. Oh. <laughs> three in a row. Oh, for 24 piercing damage. Yeah. Uh, can you <laughs> do a strength check for me? Made of right here. 22. <laughs> Fuck out of here. Yeah, you're right. You get stabbed, but you're able to pull it away so he, and he doesn't pull you in. Uh, but he's going to claw you. Wait. For 19 to hit. Uh-huh. For 10 slashing. And much like Tuk Tuk. <laughs> Jack life. Oh, no. Ooh. Unconscious. <laughs> Fuck. That'll bring us to the cleric. Let's hope he's got some spells up his sleeve. You know how we <laughs> just use them all on the shark just a second ago? Ooh. No way. You got no. these healing potions around, right? 
Do we have any? One in my back pocket. Yeah. I think there's one. Yeah, there's two going around. I, yeah, know. I know Jack definitely has one. Yeah, I got one. Yeah. Sorry, Tutu. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> I'll yeah, be back. A, one second. I don't have one. It's okay. Jack's got one. Uh, is it an action to get it out and feed it to him? Uh, I think that's probably what Yeah, it is. Yeah. yeah. Drink this. And I'll feed you your healing potion. <laughs> <laughs> Somehow. <laughs> Magic. Magic. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, roll the healing. Um, what is it? Just 1d4 plus 4, isn't it? Uh, 2d4 plus 4 for the basic ones. Right. Right, 2d4 plus 4. I think it's 20d4 plus 4. Oh. Fucking oh. sweet. Here you go. How about that, dude? I'm it's back up, that's, that's all we need. Yeah, it's a dream. <laughs> oh, don't get me. Hold on. Uh, not quite at all. Ending my turn. Yay. Alrighty, that'll bring us to Jack Rackham. Don't um, worry about me, I'm fine. <laughs> oh, oh. I can't really do anything. Oh, uh, <laughs> kind of have to go into self preservation mode here. I'm going to give myself. Uh, as an action, my uh, just fifteen of my lounge hands, um, and I can't fend if I have an attack. Can I? Fuck. Um, bonus action. No, yeah, no, it's just that's no, me. Fuck. Alrighty, that's that'll bring us to Xanthia. I'm gonna hit it with a. Dagger. Nice. Um. Shit. Boy. Oh, shit. Oh. Come here. Oh. Alright. Come here, Jamal. Oh, dear. With all his... Cole, take it. <laughs> we... With all your sneak attackers. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Yep. Yep, Time for yep, our yep, now, yep, 20s. Yep, 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 yep. Get uh, 32. this bread. Holy shit. <laughs> Fuck yeah. <laughs> As you just oh, like yeah. grab the blade out of the air and you just like cut down real quick, you cut across his like his neckline and blood just begins to pour. He is on death's doorstep as you've just not dead yet. Nicked. Wow, That's the first time I've been hit yet. Yeah. yeah. And <laughs> one shot him. And fucking die. <laughs> and what is this? <laughs> Um, and then, with my bonus action, can I take out the potion of healing that I have and, like, float it in the water over to Tuk Tuk so it, like, <laughs> lands on her crumpled body? <laughs> yeah, you can do that. <laughs> <laughs> it just floats away. <laughs> <laughs> Strong Shut current pumps. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hits her forehead and cracks and just just blows, just dissipates. Oh no! Surely that works, right? No, you can do that. No worries. Yep. Cool. 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 Um, and then I'll face back to the big boy. Nice. Uh, that'll bring us to talk talk. Just say, baby. Hey. Oh. No. Ah, fuck. Oof. Uh, that will bring us to the marrow down here. Uh, he's going to attempt to attack with disadvantage. Uh, i got to make a con save to make sure I can hold concentration on... Oh, yep, please. It's just a straight roll, fuck. Come on, i got to roll a 10 or higher. Fuck, yeah, yeah I drop yeah. it. So he no longer has disadvantage. Alrighty. So straight rolls... By the rolls. way, I'm looking good. Harpoon. Ooh, with a 9, which will miss. And a claw, ooh, with an 18. That just hits. It'll hit for 9 slashing. Uh, and just like that, I'm out. I had 3 hit points left. Uh, that'll bring us to the other mirror. He's going to attempt to do the same on you, Xanthia, with a Harpoon Malay for 17. Yeah. 14 piercing. Oh. 
and then a claw, oh, which will miss. Oh, oh thank God. Oh. <laughs> goes wide. Uh, that will bring us to Axel. Here we go. <laughs> big, big gun. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah. Saving Eighth level fireball, right here. <laughs> uh, I'm... If the person's like floating in front of the mouth, would it be a bonus action to give it to Tuk Tuk? Yeah, okay. I'll give you a bonus Yay. action. Yeah, you, you, yeah. Two bonus actions. <laughs> one to throw it, one to put it in. I'll pay that. Two bonus. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> I will uh, administer said potion to do Tuk Tuk. I'm, uh, I'm a generous god. Mm. <laughs> Is it because he's holding Scout so he gets special treatment? Yeah. yeah you wouldn't do that to a baby, would you? <laughs> <laughs> I don't see a baby's character here, so. <laughs> hey no! Oh, it's adorable. Yeah. You get ten healing. Be healing. Yay! Nice. I'm alive. <laughs> no. That's your bonus action. So slow. <laughs> Is there any spears hanging around it anywhere? <laughs> <laughs> No spears. Yeah, well, the top <laughs> thrown. There's some st sticking out of tuk tuk or something. Uh, no, it was a, a magical trident which is just hovering near you. Grab it. Uh, I'm going to uh, just use my action. I might be able to make it to dash to yeah. Try and wedge myself in between this mirror and <laughs> Tacitus. Thank you. <laughs> Nice. Uh, death, death save, please. Come on, that twenty. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, nice. yeah. He called it. Yeah. How As you like just like, 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 like hit the bottom, and then this flash uh, appears in your mind. Um, you are floating through a very familiar place. Oh shit. You've hey, seen it. You've seen it before, quite recently. This chaotic realm with these lightning bolts piercing everywhere. And this large, structured ship just floating through it with these lightning bolts and rocks hitting it, bouncing off it. Something, this presence from this ship just shoots into you. And your eyes open wide and you stand back up on your feet. Uh -huh. Um, will I get my turn? Yeah, definitely. It's at the start of your turn, oh. so. Oh, my fuck. Uh, cool. I am super dazed and really out of it and kind of freaked the fuck out from whatever I just saw. Uh, yeah, two attacks. Oh, my God. Come on, baby. 18 to hit. That hits. 10 slashing damage. Colossus nice. Slayer makes it 12 slashing damage. Nice. Second attack. Nat 20 Oy. to hit. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Slashing damage. It's hot. Nice. Go the fuck down. As you just slice, slice, blood begins to pool around you. It's blood, your blood, just there's blood everywhere, as you can barely see. Look, I'm going back down again in a second, so make it good. Is that your, that's your turn? That's my turn. Uh, that'll bring us to the priestess. She's gonna pop on out uh, shoot a guiding bolt at you Axel and then move the trident over to you Lucius Axel with a hey art do it 23 to hit oh that hits <laughs> for 19 radiant damage oh, gee. Uh, 20 to hit you Lucius yeah it's for 4 force damage and then, like the hero she is, she's gonna. gonna, gonna. Uh, that will bring us to this Marrow fighting Jack Rackham. Uh, he's going to attempt to harpoon you again for a 15, which will miss. Oh, miss. And a claw with an 8. And oh, stabs him. Oh, and God. then slashes, and you're just like, ah, duck, yeah. Duck you out of the way. Uh, that will bring us to the cleric, Mr. Battleborn. Uh, I'd like to try a channel divinity. Hopefully it works. 
Can the three mirrors make a wisdom save? Cause... What are you doing, though? Can I chime one? What's the ability called? Uh, it is called... Orders Demand. Okay. All right, wisdom save. Um, fail. Fail. Fourteen. That makes it. Ten. Fail. Uh, so uh, the middle one here succeeded. Fuck. Okay. Uh. At that point, I'll yell out. Don't attack the uh, bottom and top one. And then I'll move over here. You help. Anyway, they are charmed by me. For now. Ending my turn. So they can still attack other people, just not you. Oh, really? Yeah. That's worse. I come down here. And I... uh, a charmed creature can't attack the charmer or target the charmer with harmful <laughs> abilities, but as a part of it, you can you can get them to drop what they are holding when they fail the sale of throw. Oh, yeah, definitely tell them to drop everything. Drop okay. your harpoons. I'd... Nice. Please. Uh, and the north one and the south one do, as they look at you and just drop. Uh, that'll bring us to... Jack Rackham. Fuck you. Two swords. How many hot? Like a sunrise. Uh, 13 hit? Uh, 13 will hit. Yes! Uh, 7 slashing damage on the first one. Nice. Second attack for uh, 12, which will miss. Just miss. Yeah. As you come in, and he like <sighs> snaps out of this charm effect. As you go to do it again, he just like grabs your arm and stops it. Uh, that will bring us to Xanthia. Uh, um, is he big enough that I can move through his space? Uh, you can attempt to, yeah, tumble through or da um, or over, over, what's it called? It's on the bottom of your character sheet. But yeah, you can. You can attempt it. And then I'd have to be five feet away from him for him to be able to attack? Like an opportune attack? Yeah. You just have yeah. to leave his range. Which... I don't know how much that is. No. That's fine. Um, acrobatics check. Is that an action? Or is that just... I think it's action or bonus action your choice. That's gross. I wanted my bonus action. I don't like that at all. Don't have to do it. You got a dude in front of you. I don't want him. <sighs> Final stab him. Roll to hit. I don't kill him. That'll hit. I'll take it. Have uh, 18 damage. As you just swing back around on the wound that you already made, put your blade deep into his jugular, twist, and you hear a crunching noise as more blood flows out into the water as he just falls to the deck, dead. And then as my bonus action, I'm going to... Can I see? Just? Yeah, you can see the tip. Yeah. Cool. Um, Hexblade's Curse. Oi. Please describe it to all the friends at the table who haven't seen this ability no I've done it before I'll do it again <laughs> <laughs> how did we do it last time it we'll like, no, <laughs> something I don't remember how I did this I'll make it up then oh jeez oh jeez oh jeez oh jeez oh, oh, oh I I didn't know I was, had to fucking plan shit yeah you have to find so much you meant to uh, describe your, yeah you meant to describe <laughs> your moves Um, I'm going to lift my hand, 
point to it, and then black tendril smokes will come out, um, go to the creature and just like envelop it, and then go into it. Nice. So that wasn't too hard, was it? It was terrifying. <laughs> I'm stuck with it now. That's it. Dig it. I Sounds cool. Change it. <laughs> yeah, we should write it down, just so you know. That will bring us to Tuk Tuk. I'm alive. You're alive. Um, yeah, I'm gonna back it the fuck up because I'm not looking crash hot. Just get back it up this way a little bit, and then I'm gonna uh, try. I'm gonna put. Um, oh, actually, e. Damn it! Oh, well, I'm still gonna do it. I'm going to put my a 20 foot sphere here. Yep. And um, it's going to be fairy fire. So these, this one and this bitch are going to start to do -do -do, have a lovely little sparkle effect around them if they fail their dexterity saving throw. Please. Um, does it go around corners? I'm pretty sure. Da, 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 da. Yep. Okay. So cube range. Yep. Dex save. Do, 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 do. Uh, she succeeds. Dang it. Uh, Fifteen for the marrow. He meets it. As yeah, as this bright light begins to twinkle underwater. They both are able to dodge out of the effects. Okay, well, that was a waste of time. And then, yeah, I'm just gonna stay where I am so I'm a bit further away because I'm fucked up. And I can't cast another spell. So that will bring us to this mirror. He is going to spear the glowing Warforged with advantage. I'm glowing? Yeah, you got hit with a guiding bolt. Oh, fuck that too. <laughs> oh, for a 20 to hit. Misses. <laughs> He's then going to try to claw you. For 25 to hit. There we go. Big money. Here we go. 10 slashing as it comes across <laughs> your metal chest. Sparks go flying. Just hit. Uh, that will bring us to Axel. Is this guy still, like, entangled with vines? Nah. Nah, I, I dropped that. Ah, okay. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. I'm just going to move. Jump over these boxes. Try to get, like, here. <laughs> uh, and then attempt to attack this guy. Power up my gauntlet and attempt to hit him with a booming blade. Roll to hit. Eleven does not hit. <laughs> Wait, Ooh, no, that's well, the damage. I got a, well, I get a plus two for it, flanking. Yeah, so 14 yes. hits. 14, yes. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Finally. It's because he yeah. takes... that's the only reason. Yeah, I got lucky. Thanks, yeah. Scout. <laughs> uh, he <laughs> takes 11 thunder damage. 11. And then the next, yep. <laughs> right on the nose as you punch oh, this no. thing and this boom, noise just like shocks in the back of its head and it falls down with blood coming out of its ears. And then that is... I'll use the rest of my movement to get... Move this way a little bit. And that's my turn. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, that brings us to the top of the round. Uh, Tacitus, you're up. Yeah, I'm really fucking hurting. Uh, so I'm gonna swim my ass over this way, get around the corner, and like get some cover behind here. Uh, yeah, behind there. But while I'm doing so, if I can get a good look while swimming past on that priestess, I'm also gonna cast Entangle on her. Nice. She needs to roll a deck save again. Dex save of 13 or higher. Oof. Yay. Fuck. Jesus. Sorry, man. 
God damn it. As uh, it comes out of the wall and she just nimbly ducks out of the way. Well, at least I'm not dead. <laughs> nice. Uh, that will bring us to her turn. Uh, she's going to come around the corner. Uh, she's going to move the Triton. There's a 50-50 chance, so... Uh, 10 and lower is up to Xanthia. Uh, 11 or higher is down to Tuk Tuk. Tuk Tuk. Come at me. Uh, and then actually you're taking a guiding bolt again, her last level one spell slot. Hayat! Oh, which will miss, and then a spiritual weapon on Tuk Tuk. Oh! That is so many natural twenties. Someone somewhere is having a really bad time just getting a heap of natural ones. <laughs> uh, you take 10 force damage, Tuk Tuk. On the money. I have a oh. lovely little float. As this spear comes down, poof, hits you. You float down. Uh, that will bring yeah. us to this one here. Uh, he's going to attempt to attack the the man who just cast some spells on him. Is he still dropped his weapon, or is he? Oh, he can just pick it up. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Alright, you're hacking now. <laughs> yeah, you're hacking. <laughs> Chill. Yeah. So oh, cool. shit. That's One, four natural two, 20s in a row. Three, four, four, yeah. 30 damage. Is that on me? Yeah. And then Are another level attack with a seven, oh. which will miss. Natural Jeez. one, that's what you As get. It just spears into you <laughs> and like, puts you in the air and slams you off it. Uh, that'll bring us to your turn. I am going to attack him with a spear. Yay. The 16 to hit. 16 hits. 5 damage. Nice. Ending my turn. Excellent. That'll bring us to Xanthia. Still... Oh, I'll skip me, it's fine. Cool, I'll go fuck yeah. myself. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it is your turn, sorry. It is. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm going to attack him twice. Uh, 14, does that hit? Mm-hmm. Yep. Uh, 11 slashing hit. damage. Ooh, big numbers. And bonus action offhand slice for a 23 to hit for another 3 slashing damage. Nice. Slash, slash. He, like, takes a step back, stumbles, uh, and then he looks over to the priestess behind him with a almost worried look on his face. Uh, it's me. That'll bring us to Xanthia. I am terrified. Okay. Climbing over the dead thing. And I'm hitting her with the dagger. Nice. I'll take it. Hits. Hit. Oh, jeez. Oh, holy moly. Eight, eight plus nine. Oh, big damage. Seventeen. 17. How's she looking? Uh, after that one first hit, she is bloodied. Oh, bet. Um, and that is all that I can do. Alrighty, that'll bring us to Tuk Tuk. Another death save, please. Yay. That's a success. A six success. Uh, that one's dead. That will bring us to Axel. <clears throat> uh, I'm going to move the rest of the way over here. Will I get flanking from here or do I have to go on this side? <laughs> <laughs> no, that's, that's, that's close enough. Okay. Uh, I'm going to... Uh, charge up my gauntlet and attempt to <laughs> uh, t uh, hit her with it. Okay, you can roll this once again. Oh, she didn't do it. <laughs> Please. A 19 to hit. 19 hits, sir. Takes 8 uh, thunder damage, and then if she moves, she'll take more. Nice. Anything else you'd like to do? Uh, no. 
Action. action. I'm gonna need bonus action. Yeah. That'll bring us to Mr. Kilgore. Uh, sorry, just double checking. Uh, range. Disadvantage. Okay, cool. I'm not gonna worry about that then. Uh, I'm gonna quickly. There's not a whole lot I can do without immediately being in threat of dying. So I'm gonna swim up to Tuk Tuk, grab her, and then drag her back to where I was to at least keep her out of the way of other shit hitting her. Nice. Easily done. And... Uh, I don't have any healing shit. Fuck. Uh, yeah, I guess I'll just... Potion. I call out to Rackham because I've seen him do some kind of healing stuff before and I'm guessing that um, our, clear, our healer is low on if not too much out of healing spells. Uh, I'm just going to call out to Mr. Gon. Please, we need help healing over here. You can just attempt to stabilize her so she won't get any hit points, but then she doesn't have to make death saves. If I fuck that up, though, is that going to be bad? No, no. It's just a medicine check. Okay, I'll do that. Ten or higher. Yay! Ten. Okay, add three to this. Nice. Cool. nice. A natural 20. Uh, uh -huh. Tuk Tuk, you are stabilized. You're on zero. You no longer need to make death saves. Thank God. Cool. I just call out going, we need some fucking healing over here. As you like, wrap some seaweed around some of her wounds and put some pressure on to stop. Red stop. neck. <laughs> yeah. Somebody call a fucking ambulance. <laughs> uh, that will bring us to um, the priestess. She's going to bite and claw you. One claw into um, Metal Man and then one into Xanthia. If she hits, I'm casting Hellish Rebuke. Nice. 16 for the Metal Man. 5 for Xanthia. She bites in and... Oh, yep. She can still use her bonus action. Um, pretty sure she can move it. Yeah, she's going to move her... Her spiritual trident up to you, Jack Rackham. Right, yep. For a 14, which will miss. That was miss. As Oof. it just swings past. Uh, that will bring us to this marrow. He's going to stab you, um, Jack, and then claw Lucius. Oof. 23. Yep. For 11 piercing. And then a claw attack on Lucius for a 21 to hit. Yes. For 12 slashing. I am down. Oy. Death save from the Battleborn. Oh, shit, it's really Fail. One fail. That brings us to Jack Rackham. Kill this dude. Uh, yeah, yeah, I need to fucking <clears throat> attack this dude twice. Nice. Fucking miss on the first one. So <laughs> crit on the Ooh. second one for six. That Nothing. will do it. Really? Had five, oh. five oh left oh as he God. just <laughs> like slice through, cut his neck, and he like stumbles and tries to grab it as his blood weeps out and he falls backwards. This is a fucking uh, slog. If I grab Lucius, can I move him half speed? Yeah. To like seven, seven feet. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, sweet. I'll um, <laughs> I'll move him. Yeah, I'm just gonna grab him and. Just I think up to there, up there with me. Like backstroking towards, uh, to Nice. Uh, that will bring us to Xanthia. What is the chances of going behind the wall and hiding and then coming out and stabbing her? <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> Low. 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 You got like a... a jack. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> like, we'll tend to run away and then... Surprise! Uh, boo! I'm yeah. back! No, you need to fully break your line of sight from her to be able to then hide. What if I'm really good at hiding? <laughs> She'll still see you. 15 to hit. 15 hits. 
Yeah! I'll take it for 11 damage. He had 10 left. Yeah! Yes. Stab yes. into her with your blade and then pull it out and then stab again. Stab, stab, stab! Pretty sure you get some health back as I do. the priestess falls dead. At... Oh, you dumb bitch. Does her <laughs> weapon also disappear? Her... Spiritual weapon? It sure does. Yeah. Oh, uh, Tuk Tuk, you're fine with your death saves. Uh, Axel, what would you like to do? Uh, I would like to dash over to uh, there, and then I'll say, "Bring, bring him over to me." And um, that's my yes. Tacitus. Uh. Uh. I don't know what I do. Fuck. I'm a little, just, I'm a little dazed. I'm a little lost. I'm making sure my friend is alive. Fuck. <laughs> um. I guess I st peek around the corner and see if everyone's dead. All the enemy are dead. All enemy dead. All enemy dead. Yeah, I don't think I do anything. I think I'm just fucked up and I call that to Jack. Please, we need healing. <laughs> Save us. I... <laughs> that will bring us to the Battleborn. <laughs> Death save. Exactly. Oh, that's a success. Jack Rackham. Oh, cool. As an action, give Lucius two loud hands. Alrighty. And then I'm gonna yeah, swim over to Tuk Tuk and then next round give her the last remaining three of my land hands, that's it. Me tap. Yeah. Uh, and that will be combat. It was just to see if Lucius failed his death saves or not. As combat ends, your slain enemies lay on the bottom of the ocean. What would you like to do? Cry. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'll go up to Tuk Tuk and just kind of put a hand on her face and give her the last three of my loud hands. Oh, up. oh my god. Fuck it. Thank you, you. you. She's going to in my lap and you look up at me after doing that and I'm just like blood pouring from my face. <laughs> Big red vein through the forehead just kind of. I've got nothing left. It's, I'm um, fully tapped. I'm cut. It's, it's fine. I have spells left. Fine. I'll cast Cure Wounds on, um, just at first level on Tacitus. Okay, thank you. Um, so that's... D8 plus five. It's more than one For hit point. For 13, there you go. Oh my, you queen. I was on one hit point. I know. That sucked. And then, who else? Jack, do you need some? I have more uh, spells. Uh, that's all right. Go to Lucius. He probably needs some first. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, I'll cast. Gonna... Um, I'm already here. I would like to say good. Okay. Good job, Lucius. And then I'll cast my last spell slot on Lucius for eight healing. I will cast it, then yeah. killings on Jack. For oh another thirteen. There you go. He does. Thank you. Jesus. And then I have just in case I have one second level left just for emergencies. Just like sink down to the ground level and start fucking going to this big bitch and see him just like tapping his fishy body and see if he's got any pockets or blubber rolls. I could use something. Blubber rolls. Uh, I don't know. While he's doing that, I'm mean, cutting his head off. Investigation yeah. check. Hacking at the head. Uh, six. Um, you're able to find uh, a key around his neck. It's kind of a, uh, a quite a big brass key that's almost turned to a, like this greenish kind of grey colour, being waterlogged and it's being coated in his own coated. blood as I cut through his neck. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, snap the key off this like thing and then pocket it. Can I just have a quick look around and make sure there's no more fucking sharks? Uh, give me a, a yes. perception check. I can do that. No, I'll just finish helping Tassus cut this fucking thing's head off. A raven. 
A Revan. Uh, no. you can, not that you can see, no. Okay, no more sharkies. While Jack is helping me, I look up and go, we make a pretty good unit. My unit. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I wanted. Uh, I wanted that. I needed that. Um, yeah, just like kind of. That's like just mind fuck. Just kind of absentmindedly just nod too many times and just keep soaring <laughs> his head, trying to reassure him. But I, there's nothing behind me, so I'm just like, uh, you're. <laughs> I'm dying for reassurance at the minute. Yeah. So I take it. I'm just like, yeah, fuck it. This, the Tangle spell, as vines was, it helped us a lot. It was actually really good. Fuck these things. Yeah. Hey, I died for a second. It sucks. Why do you, why do you keep doing that? Thought it was fun, you know? <laughs> what are you doing there? On the internet, yeah. You? Sometimes like a drug, you do it once, you just can't stop. It's my choice too, you know? I, I just go down thinking, <laughs> yeah, let's take everything. Let's see how hard the next thing can rock my fucking skull. <laughs> Jesus Christ! It was, it, yeah, the um, when you knocked him down, it's like so. When you get to that level, it's uh, guarding this deck of the ship. A three shark-like creature that human and horses with long, uh, muscular fish tails. Um, you see them talking uh, to a smaller fish-like creature. Uh, they made harpoons made of ivory. So when you've sent him down, they're just like, what is that corpse that's just appeared? And <laughs> 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 our boss? Oh. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Weird. Weird. I was alive like 10 seconds ago, I swear. How'd he get here? <laughs> he got fucking punched through as well. It wasn't just like he fell. Yeah, he got like, launched <laughs> into the ground. <laughs> <laughs> hey, is that... Is that him? Is that Dave? Um, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna start like boulder wrapping this thing with like a uh, this thing's head, and, like just like kind of wrapping up like a present, like how you ribbon tie a present, just tying it up so we like some sort of like sling carrying device we can tie things fuck ahead with. Cool. The Mia's head in God of War. Yeah, literally that. Can I go through the priest priestess's body? You sure can. Investigation. Mm-hmm. Uh, nine. Um, you find another key, uh, and it is identical to the one uh, that was found on the Baron. Nice. I'll take it. Is this a door? Is a door down here? We hold off exploring for a moment. Yeah, oh. I want to explore. Yeah, so uh, from there, you see that there's a door to the north. There's also a door to the south there. Talk to it. Oh, dang. Um, the door to the south uh, has... It has got a lock, a padlock on the front. Okay. I was turning around and go, did we find any keys? There's a lock. No, I'm on kidding. The door. Yeah, I got a key. Oh. <laughs> I go over and I try the key. Um the door? It fits perfectly into the door. I do not turn it. So this is the one to the south. Yeah. North door have a lock? Uh, no, it does not. <laughs> that boy out. Uh, I love it. Kaboom! Oh, fuck. Uh, no. Maybe something worse. Uh. <clears throat> you make your way to the front of the ship and enter a strange room. It is clearly an altar or shrine to some deity that has been recently vandalised. On the walls, you can make out carvings of sharks, but they've all been scratched over, destroying by the destroying the crude uh, workmanship that went into them. Hundreds of fractured pieces of coral lie underfoot, but you make out that there is an odd chunk, odd chunks that resemble fins. Sitting pride in place atop of a pinneth of coral and whalebone is a shield, 
with a single lie in the middle with four bars going over it and then two on the top. As you observe it, you are feeling as it's looking back slowly. It blinks. Don't. So they what? It blinks. (laughs) Don't touch it. Don't fucking touch it. Jack. Fuck this. (laughs) So we got the head. We leave, right? Yeah, I'm closing that door right back up and heading on back. (laughs) (laughs) Dead end up that way, guys. Did someone say new school? (laughs) No, dead end. (laughs) Can we burn this thing too? (laughs) Yeah, I wouldn't. Yeah, does anyone have any fire that works up water? Yes. I'll just produce a flame in my hand. What does this dolly do? I'm just waiting for Xanthi to turn the key as it's just sitting in there. <laughs> Can we hear anything on the other side? Give me a perception. You want me to do it? But it's a shield. Take the shield, you know? There isn't a shield, what do you mean? <laughs> Don't! Shield. No, that lock, no fucking way. 18. What's the 18 for? Oh, the perception check? No, you, um, with an 18, you hear, you put your ear, uh, uh, ear to the door and it sounds like when you put your ear to a, a, a shell, a seashell, like a big one. It's kind of like echoes and moves. Like it would normally? It, it sounds like a normal underwater door or it does not sound like a normal underwater door? Sounds like a she- uh, uh, seashell. Seashells. Uh, seashells. Seashells. Seashore. Seashore. Like, does it sound like if I put my Move. ear to the bottom of a boat? I don't know what it really? sounds like. I'll Would it sound like a seashell? <laughs> yeah, sure. Let's go with that. <laughs> Would it? I don't know. You're telling the story. Boat floor seashell. Like, like it sounds like a normal underwater, like a door. That has water behind it. No, it does not. Ah, oh, fuck. I turn the um, key. He turns the key. Oh. Uh, and as Excuse you me. open the door, <laughs> uh, some strange magic is keeping this room filled with air as you look in, like a giant bubble. Within the dank, sandy chamber are four prisoners, bound in ropes and lying half unconscious on the floor. Behind them in the corner, you see a chest. What? Just, yeah. what kind of, I'll be like what kind of scanning, scanning the prisoners and just go, ooh, and then just <laughs> crank past them. Ooh. Like people prisoners or like yeah, fish yeah, prisoners? Yeah, so, uh, yeah. So there is what looks to be a human female, um, another human uh, male, and then a sun elf. And then also another human male. How? Oh my god, you poor people. Ooh, treasure. How, how yeah. deep is it? Like, how deep are we right now? You're like pressure wise. Oh, uh, you're about 70 feet deep. How, how long would that they... take to get to the surface? Not too long. If like, if, if you water... told them swim out and swim to the top, they'd probably be able to do it. Yeah. Their time. And then how far from shore? About 300 feet away from the shore. Ew. They wouldn't get fucked up from pressure, and like we're not that that deep? No. No. Okay, cool. You have to have a padlock? Uh, the chest you have a padlock. It doesn't? Oh boy. No. I'm so glad uh, I said the spell slot. Yeah, I'll see if there's like trip wires or anything on it. Uh, give us a uh, investigation check. Boy, I'm fucking awesome at this. Ten. Doesn't doesn't seem to be trapped. What? Alrighty. Uh, so as you open it, uh, you oh. see on the top oh. uh, three potions of healing. Ooh. Two potions of greater healing. Oh. A potion of animal friendship. Oh. You find 1,400 copper pieces. Oh, oh. useless. 
Uh, this one, there's a 400. 190 yep. silver pieces. Uh, and 30 gold pieces. Um, being however long this ship has been underwater, uh, they all tarnish and they will need to be like cleaned and f fixed up before they can be used. So they'll just be a short rest or something. Um... <clears throat> Uh, inside this one, inside at the bottom as well, you find thirteen assorted medallions and amulets of a divine nature, representing a diverse uh, section of the pantheon uh, in this world. Uh, within these holy symbols, there are three gold bracelets uh, bearing dwarven markings. They're worth about twenty-five GP each. Another five of elf-like gods and deities and markings uh, worth 35 each. Uh, and then two human, or mainly human pantheon markings. Uh, they're worth 40 GP each. How many of the three? Uh, two. Sorry, three. So five, five and three. Apologies. Uh, and the next thing you, you find is like this uh, elvish lettering uh, on this small chest. Uh, and as you open it, uh, it is filled with like hands, bones of severed hands in this chest. This chest is beautiful. Um, it's probably worth about 80 to 120 GP each. <coughs> but as you open it, there are just these hands that are tied together with this very small wire to keep all the bones together. And there's about, you look in there, maybe about 13 individual hands, different sizes, different, some human, some elf, some dwarf, some tiefling. Do the, do the bones have like anything on them? They're a bit like grimy. You'd probably have to like clean them, polish them. No. To be able to inspect them properly. No, thank you. They're probably the hands of the, the people who call the temple Caesar. Uh, Jack Rackham, give me a history check, please. 11 is the DC. That's a bit of a... Shoot. Go okay, minus one. <clears throat> oh, 17. Hey. Um... You can't remember the name of the captain, um, but you do know that there was a, once a famous captain that as a, a pirate captain that as a, almost a trophy, would take the left hand of another ship's captain as like, not in killing him, just I've now got your hand and like would let them live. And he's a very notorious pirate for doing it, would capture ships would take crew, would take plunder off other pirates, and instead of killing the captain, he'd just take their left hand and keep their left hand as a trophy. You can't... You, you remember the story, but you can't remember the name of the pirate. You're like, this this is a story. I know a dude that used to do this shit. Left hand, like, Willie. Yes, Captain Lefty. It's like... It's like, uh... Is it like a... Oh, yeah, it's just Jim from the other day does this? Or is this like, oh, yeah, Captain Blackbeard from 200 years ago did this kind of thing? Like, what kind of story is it? Probably about a 40-year-old story. Oh, okay. So, oh, probably not, probably not that old. Maybe a 30-year story. So, he could technically still be around. He might be a little bit senior, maybe in his 60s, 70s now, but he could st still technically be around. But that is all you find in that room, and there is the four prisoners there. Are the prisoners like... Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Oh, yeah, I was just... Shit, go, go. I was going to say, are the prisoners, like, unconscious, or are they just... No, they're fully unconscious. You're not sure why. Um, but can... 
uh, Axel, can you please make a Arcana check, please? I can. No. Twenty-four. Okay, with the 24. Um, in this room, this air bubble, you notice scattered around the circumference of the room are six stones with arcane like markings on them that are slightly glowing. And as you go up to inspect them, you can see that these stones are slowly, like you can hear the sound of hissing air, like fresh air coming off them. And that would be the source, they are the source of this this bubble that's being created. Do they look similar to the stone that we got off the goblin chick from the lighthouse? No, no. Uh, these are almost like a triangle triangle sh shape. And they kind of sit just like kind of hovering and keeping this force field up. And at the very tip, there's this sound of slight air is coming out very slightly. Okay. Sounds like the uh, this air like are coming out of the stones in here, and maybe they're probably the source of what's keeping this room, uh, keeping the water out of this room. Uh, with uh, with that as well, uh, Jordy, coming back to you, can you please roll a wisdom medicine check for me? Yes. As you're looking at these injured prisoners. Or a 12. With a 12, uh, you can see wrapped or stuck in their nose is this some kind of seaweed. Uh, and as you pull one out, uh, you have a smell of it and you've, you've heard of this seaweed. Uh, it promotes deep sleep. Like it's given to people who are having trouble sleeping. You put it in your nose, you breathe through it and it just will knock you out. Um, you're only meant to have a very small leaf and you can see that these... Sorry, the, um, a very small bit of seaweed for this. But these are like very large ones and there's one in each nostril. So seeing that, you're like, ah, this is how they're sleeping. Yeah. If I take it out, am I able to reuse, like take the bit that was around in like in their nose and then just like take that bit off and keep it? Because it was like, if it's quite a big bit. Yeah, they do have a shelf life. Um, so yeah. they will naturally just fade. The potency will fade. Um, with what you can see on it with the current state, on each of their noses, each one would have probably about 20 to 30 days left before they kind of just naturally fade away. Okay. I'll, I'll, call, I'll take them all out, so then I'm assuming they're not just going to magically wake up. Or will they just magically wake up? They can be woken up easier. But okay, with that, yeah. uh, we will call, call it there. That is quarter to 11. Um, so as you begin to take these out, they begin to slowly murmur. Um, I'll keep them too. You keep the two? Nice. Keep them. Yeah. Um, we will finish the session there. Awesome. Awesome stuff, guys. That was really good. Very close. I love it. Spicy. Oof. Spicy, spicy. <laughs> yeah, someone somewhere was getting a whole lot of natural ones. For the yeah. <laughs> yeah, what the fuck? <laughs> this happened. Hacks. <laughs> Who are you paying at roll 20? Uh, yeah. you, can't, you can't modify the rolls. You can't. You can't do anything uh, like that. You can't. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 No, I promise you can't. No. Yeah. You can't. You can't. No. You can't. He's got a button as a DM. Just click, clicks. Uh, yeah, roll natural <laughs> 20. 20. 20. <laughs> uh, that'd be no fun then. That'd just kill him too easy. Uh, thanks for watching. Um, was a blast having everyone along. Uh, we'll be back next week, I believe. Robo, tell me if I'm wrong. No, you're not wrong. Yep, twenty fourth, wicked. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't. Wait, wait, wait. What? Because <laughs> he's going for his wedding on one yeah. of the days. On one of the days, I'm I think. The, I'm the DM now. That's why. No, <laughs> on, is it on the first you leave or the third? Yeah, I leave on the first. On the first, there you go. That's the the following one. So, quite down there, charge. <laughs> um, but yeah, awesome show, guys. Thanks for coming along and watching. Uh, we'll be back next time. Um, for some more shenanigans under the ocean. Thanks for watching again. <laughs>